It is right there so there it is right there so indicate in the comment section if you can hear me <clears throat> what better way to start the session than the way uh ola Tuboson and the mighty area has started it all so we've set that uh, thing now that are uh, a minimum of five super charts for, per session and um your and uh all our two have set us well on our way so uh good day to you all and even better day to me for, for that cherry welcome by uh, those two gentlemen uh so good day to you good to be in your company and good to have you here so barricade um ramadan to our muslim followers barricade ramadan i hope the period goes in the in the way that you anticipate and pray for so uh, our thoughts with you in, the, in this your period of fasting and of course the christians are going through uh easter as well so so uh, good good tidings to all uh, across the faiths so so all that good stuff and all of you that are non-adherents to anything uh celestial still a good day to you as well so to the non-adherents uh, you know i don't actually think of this thing so it's just the weird way that uh the, these words come out of my mouth uh <clears throat> So to the non-adherents to anything celestial, uh, still a good day to you as well. So still a good day to you as well. Uh, the usual protocol, click on the like button just as soon as you're coming in. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. The hyperlink that says StreamYard, that invites you into the studio space. So if you want to come and uh, jow jow, as they like to say in Nigeria, or pow pow, however, if you want to come and engage in conversations, then uh, click on this hyperlink that says uh street yard up it pops you into a studio space as soon as i finish delivering the body of the talking points i'll let you onto the screen invite your thoughts uh does it sound complicated nothing at all open microphone session the open microphone at uh, this hyperlink right there that says stream yard so the hyperlink that says stream yard invites you in so do all that funky stuff play that funky music white boy uh so do all that funky stuff uh, click on like click on subscribe you are mandated by law to do that click on the hyperlink that says stream yard you are highly encouraged to do that and click on that dollar sign uh, that says uh that says dollar sign to, to for you to uh super chat to the space as the as as Dikwe Olu uh, joins Ayo and uh, uh, Bosu in that space, so so uh, we set it as a very low bar. So four four super charts is not a no no. no five super charts is not a shouldn't be any stretch for anybody. So do all that funky stuff. Do all that funky stuff as I do this funky stuff. So as I do this, and um, quite a whole raft of things have happened in the course of today. Uh, uh, by the way, the highlight of today being um. 
Peter Obi uh, appearing uh, on a Twitter space, speaking to his uh, adherents, the uh, the raw meat eaters, and feeding them what they like to uh, to to excess on. So so there was all of that. I paid attention to it, but uh, I can report that there is nothing. Uh, there's nothing to glean from there. It pretty much in the manner. If you imagine Peter Obi speaking to his followers, that was exactly how it happened. Verbatim, they asked him what you expect them to ask him, and he said, as he often says, so nothing new or original coming out of that space. I think he's just doing it to, to, to continue to take them over. He committed to nothing, said nothing new, and nothing, nothing revolutionary or nothing inspired. So that's the report from that space. But if you want to have a conversation around Peter B space, of course, the platform, I just open it, you speak to whatever it is that you'd like to speak to. I speak to whatever it is that you'd like to speak to, uh, but we'll be speaking to this from the get-go. So uh, still with the Peter B space, of course, I, I think we're surrendered now that we'll struggle to escape Peter B. Uh, up the way, uh, I think the, um, the only time that we will escape Peter B will be June 2027 when he would have exhausted all he has to say and he would now have to wave that white flag of surrender so i i think we're going to be talking about this guy pretty much for the next three years there's just no escaping it not that we especially choose to speak about peter b but he never leaves the news headline spaces and we we're a, we're a political talking space and he never there he will pop his heart off to Ramadan, and then he will swap that for, for an Owambe and off to somebody's party, and then he's popping into that church. So pop, 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 like a lollipop. So he's here, there, and everywhere, like uh, the Scarlet Pimpernel. So the Scarlet Pimpernel, uh, let's go on to then. Uh, so uh, we're surrendered then. So everybody uh, and anybody that thinks we should stop talking about Peter B, it will be a real struggle if we are talking about politics. So we speak about Peter B yet again. Uh, why I ignored the Labour Party's national convention? So this is P to B uh, distancing himself from the from the from the fiasco that happened in uh, Newi. <coughs> B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party for 2023 election, has declared his stance on the recent national convention of the party that saw barrister Julius Aburi emerge as national chairman. Addressing Nigerian... Uh, uh, so I think these are some of the outtakes from this uh, session that I had uh, just as uh, as recent as uh, as today. Uh, Peter B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party for the 2023 election, has declared his stance on the recent national uh, convention of the party that saw barrister Julius Aburi emerge as national chairman. Addressing Nigerians on X space, hosted by Parallel Facts on Friday, Peter Obi said he ignored the convention because the party leadership under Aburi failed to do wide consultation with key stakeholders of the party before embarking on the said convention. So that is the nail. The, that's the final nail in the Aburi coffin right there. So he now distances him. Uh, hopefully you are hearing me, by the way, indicate in the comment section if you are hearing me, and I suspect you will be hearing me uh, for the people listening. Uh, so that's Peter B somewhat distancing himself from uh, what happened in Newi, which should be the final nail on the coffin of uh, of whatever his name is, the, the crooked guy from Edo State. Um, addressing Nigerian on X, hosted by Parallel Facts on Friday, Peter B said he ignored the convention because the party leadership under Abure failed to do wide consultation with key stakeholders of the party before embarking on the said convention. The former Alhambra State Governor emphasized the need for the right things to be done to salvage the party, adding that he is more passionate about building a new Nigeria than building a new Labour Party. So that is the, that is the, that is, you, you know that creaking sound that you can hear? Can you hear the creaking, can you hear cr cr That's the creaking sound of Peter will be opening the exit door out of the Labour Party right there. So listen to this and read, you must always read between the lines. So it, it doesn't tell more than it tells you here. You, you can't be more expansive than just, you have to be able to understand what's being said here. Listen very carefully and then unpick, not just what he's saying, but actually what is being said. Because there's always a distinction between 
the utterances of the words and the intent uh, of the message. So listen to this. Uh, the former Anambra governor emphasized the need for the right thing to be done to salvage the party. So if he feels the right thing that needs to be done to salvage the party is to suggest that he feels that the right things are not being done to salvage the party. So he said that, and then he follows on, adding that he is more passionate about building a new Nigeria than building a new Labour Party. So that creaking sound that you hear, that is Peter Obi opening the exit. That's the exit door from the Labour Party being opened right there. But then Peter Obi, of course, a fair weather politician from Abga to PDP to, to PDP, and then Abga again, and then bounce, 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 uh, SDP next stop, uh, because it's of course going to join, um, it's going to join, uh, what's it called? The little man from Kaduna State to give, uh, Tinobu sleepless nights for the next three years. Um, <coughs> right. Um, we promised to, we promised to build Nigeria. We did not promise to build a new Labour Party. He emphatically affirmed. He also threw his weight behind the call for a structure for the obedient movement. It is the standard practice around the world where movements form themselves into blocks and are part of the political process. Recall that the Labour Party has been in crisis in recent times with many of its supporters calling for a proper restructuring of the party ahead of 2027. So Peter Obi is out of that party. I think that's pretty much what we're getting gleaning from there. Peter Obi out of that party, but somebody making his way back in. Uh, Justin, Senate to recall Ningi. Uh, this is Akabio speaking to that space. And by the way, we spread, we spread quite quietly, but I'm hustling to get Senator Ningi to come and join us. I have put it out there. It has been passed on to him that we want him to come and join us, but he has not responded. So he has been, because I know a guy who knows a guy, but it's been passed on to him that we want him to come and join us, Senator Ningi, but he's not responded yet. Uh, so uh, uh, keep that space. Uh, just. Uh, uh, but I'm not making any promises. So it's one of those... Uh, casting of the of the net to see what it can bring in sort of a thing. Uh, send it to recall Ningi. This is a Pabio now uh, because the politics now getting intense. So they are trying to uh, not have as many enemies as they can afford not to have. The Senate is set to recall Senator Abdul Ningi, PDP Bauchi Central, from his three month suspension. It's been learned. Uh, Senate President Goswinda Pabio disclosed this whilst answering questions from reporters on arrival. Let's do that again. Uh, the Senate is set to recall Senator Abdul Ningi, a uh, PDP Bauchi Central, from his three month suspension. It has been learned. learned. Uh, Senate President Goswinda Pabio disclosed this whilst answering questions from reporters on arrival from the Inter-Parliamentary Union meeting in Geneva, Switzerland. Apabio said the Senate will soon review the three-month suspension it slammed on Ningi for claiming that the 2024 budget was allegedly padded with the sum of 3.7 trillion naira. Ningi had on Thursday, in a letter written by his counsel, Femi Falano SAN, gave Apabio seven days to recall him or face legal actions. Apabio told reporters that even though he has not seen the letter, it is already receiving due attention. He said the matter will be resolved like a family affair, and hopefully Ningi would return to take his seat earlier uh, than expected, Apabio said. It is a parliamentary decision. I have not seen the letter yet, but Senator Ningi is one of us. I mean, what is suspension? I believe that in a few days it will join us, so there is no problem. It will be re resolved amicably. The, fa the Senate is a family, so there, there it is. I, I think the I think it's an unnecessary fight. Is uh, it's just what it is, really. So if they don't have to take it on, then they shouldn't really uh, take it on. Uh, they, if they don't have to take it on, then then why take it on? That's just the thing. So 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 that's just uh, that. Um, uh, Right, uh, I'll give you some of these uh, just uh, as headlines. Uh, 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 all right, I'll give you some of these just as headlines. Let me give you this. Uh, this now follows on from our conversation still ongoing as the Naira continues to strengthen much to the chagrin 
of our people that want to see the country burn. Naira appreciates to 1,380 at parallel markets. The parallel market, which are uh, uh, colloquially the black market, is now uh, curiously cheaper than the official rate. So this is it now. The Naira on Friday appreciated to 1,280 Naira to the dollar at the parallel market section of the foreign exchange market. The current FX rate signifies a 5.19% appreciation from the 1,350 Naira to the dollar reported on March the 27th. So March the 27th to March the 29th. So within two days, it's gained 5.2% 5 5 approximately. Uh, currency traders in Lagos, also known as Bureau de Change Operators, quoted the buying rate of the greenback at 1,260 and the selling price at 1,280, leaving a profit margin of 20 Naira. The price of the dollar, as well as other major currencies, have fallen. It is affecting our business as some customers prefer to keep their currency than change it results, the currency trader has said. At the official section of the FX market, the local currency depreciated by 0 0.69% to 1,309 uh, on March the 28th, for, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Meanwhile, the central bank, on, uh, so, so, so that, uh, essentially the economy recovering, uh, much to the chagrin, as I said, of the naysayers, they want that country to fall. So, but if, if we go on at this rate, by the time we get to 2027, even Peter will be, we cast his vote for Tinobu, this, the way the economy is going to bounce, even Peter will be, he will cast his vote for Tinobu. Uh, leave Labour Party if you can't end uh, the crisis now. Ex-presidential aspirant tells Peter Obi, uh, only really to document the name, a uh, former presidential aspirant of the Labour Party, uh, Fadi Faduri Oluwadare Joseph. Uh, so, so that's the person speaking. I just wanted to document that name. So we document that name and, and then we just move on swiftly. Um, it is at times like this that you need your friends. And by the way, plenty of space in the, in the studio. I will, we, keep, we keep canvassing for people to join us early. Join us early just so the conversation is, is a lot more robust. Um, uh, so, so, just, uh, so plenty of spaces. Anybody that wants to jump on, click on the, on, on the hyperlink that says our stream yard. I stand with you. Buhari tells Tinobu on backstay phone call. So, uh, to, uh, but uh, will you stand with him when he picks up Abubakar Malami, who's your in-law, is the thing? Um, uh, former President Mohamed Buhari on Friday expressed his commitment to the success of the administration of President Bola Tinubu, according to ex-president spokesperson Gaba Shehu, uh, according to, yes, uh, Gaba Shehu, uh, Buhari stated this in a telephone call with Tinubu, during which he congratulated the president on his 72nd birthday. Uh, Shehu said Buhari followed his public statement on Tinubu's birthday with a telephone call. The statement uh, reads, in the course of the conversation, the former president said he was fully committed to the success of the APC administration under President Tinubu. In this regard, President Buhari prayed profusely for Tinubu's success, saying that praying for a leader is imperative as his success and well-being are for the nation, adding that the accomplishments of the new administration must be seen as a national achievement. So, so, so that is uh, that is that backup. I, I think I desperately needed. And, and, and by the way, as I'm saying, the achievements. I think Tinubu is going to campaign solely on his record in 2027, and there will be sufficient enough. I, I think we've already. If he was to campaign now, there's sufficient enough achievements for him to. Uh, present a good argument, a good submission to the Nigerian people. But by 2027, it's almost started to be a slam dunk just on performance. I think that's what it's good. And by the time this performance is this, um, by the time all of this achievement starts to be uh, documented by the Nigerian people, it will be very difficult. Anybody that turns against him now, it will almost counter intuitive as a lot of these things starts to come to fruition, especially when this comes to fruition. Clark hails Tinobu for Lagos Calabar Coastal Rail, uh, Railroad Project. So this is going to be his marquee project, probably the biggest project that Nigeria has yet taken on. A job leader, Chief Edwin Clark, has commended President Bola Tinobu for the award of the construction of the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road. Clark, in an open letter to the president, 
a clerk in an open letter to the president where he praised, where, uh, let's do that entirely all over again. Uh, Ejo leader Chief Edwin Clark has commended President Bola Tinubu for the award of the construction of the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road. A clerk in an open letter to the president where he raised some issues relating to infrastructural development of the Niger Delta region and the country at large said when completed, the project will change the landscape of infrastructural development in Nigeria. He, however, asked the president to particularly pay attention to projects in the Niger Delta area. I congratulate you. Uh, I congratulate you, your Minister of Works and uh, former Governor of Ebony State, His Excellency David Mahi, for the recent award of the Coastal Road, which will stretch from Lagos State down to Calabar Cross Rivers. This is a landmark project, which if completed, so that is the skepticism of the Nigerian space there. We're so used to uh, a white elephant project. So so it's, it said, if not when. So that is the skepticism uh, that we've grown accustomed to. Uh, this is a landmark project, which if completed, uh, will change the last landscape of infrastructural development in Nigeria. It is particularly pleasing to note that this project is being executed as a private, uh, as a public-private partnership. Uh, this means that a substantial portion of the funding, which is over one trillion naira, will be coming from the private sector. I assure you that we will not only endorse this project, but will fully extend our support to ensure its completion, especially at the areas of Niger Delta where it will pass through. So that that will that will be that's a game changer project anyway. And and given this guy's antecedent, you have every expectation that he will because we saw a lot of things that he built in Lagos from from start to finish. So uh, all the rail systems, a, a complete light rail system in Lagos, he, he, he built that. So building a coastal road should not be something uh, beyond the realms of his reach. Let's go on to this. This is the headline piece. Uh, Peter Obi has no reason to lose sleep over Labour Party crisis. 2027 about him, not the party. So this is Kenneth Okonkwo. So uh, as I said, that creaking of the door, that's Peter Obi on his way out of that space. He's going to SDP to join El Rufai. It's just it. He will go to SDP first and then El Rufai will join him. I think that's what they've planned. A veteran Nollywood actor, Com, uh, former spokesperson, uh, of the Labour Party presidential campaign council, Kenneth Okonkwo, has asserted that the party's presidential candidate in the 2023 election, Peter B, has no reason to lose sleep over the current crisis rocking the party. Correspondence reports that the Labour Party has been enmeshed, enmeshed in a series of crises from the allegation of theft against the national chairman, Julius Aburi, to a tussle of party ownership with the Nigerian Labour Congress. Speaking in a recent interview, Okonkwo said the party's crisis would not affect Peter Obi if he decides to run for the presidency again in 2027. According to the Labour Party chieftain, Peter Obi represents a new Nigeria, regardless of any political platform he is contesting on. So, uh, and by the way, you know, you know, we've had the presidential candidate of the SDP on this platform, I think twice, uh, Prince Adewale. So maybe we'll bring him back on the game because it looks as though Peter will be an Erufai. They, they want to steal his boots. Uh, <clears throat> According to the Labour Party uh, chieftain, Peter Obi represents a new Nigeria regardless of any political platform he's contesting on. Uh, whilst recalling how the former governor of Anambra changed the political landscape with the emergence of a third force, Okonkwo said politics is about the candidate and not the political party. He said, 2027 is about Peter Obi, not about the Labour Party. Anybody who is bringing Peter Obi on the table is bringing the new Nigeria, a new third force, an absolute victory. When you come to elections, you take, a, uh, you take, a, you, that should be you talk about it, not take, but you will take. Uh, when you come to elections, you talk about candidates, not political parties. Uh, Peter Obi electrified Labour Party. He has no business. He has no business to lose sleep uh, over whatever is happening in any political party. How many months did he join the Labour Party? And he made what he made. People are loyal to his person. The new Nigeria 
is loyal to his people. So so that 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 is Peter B essentially out of the Labour Party. I think I I I, I don't expect that we'll exhaust April before Peter B announces that it's out. Uh so um uh, United LP or leave. So I think we've somewhat uh, we've touched around that. Uh so this one now Naira dollar rate northern groups urge businesses to slash prices. So as the uh, as the Naira continues to 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 uh, to, to strengthen at a, at a rapid rate, uh, we want to see that at the market. So so I, I think that's sufficient enough to be going with. So that's sufficient enough to be going with. So let me let me play the Kegite music. Still plenty of spaces. Anybody that still wants to join, uh, come join. It, it's a it's a festive season, so everybody should be relaxed at home now. So you shouldn't have any reason not to join us. And the super chat still ho- still open. We did say a minimum of five. So so let's make our, our way. Uh, to that five very quickly and then we set a new bar but first the care guys <laughs> And there it is right there. Iku Koneri Agbeche may death have nothing to do with us. So I may Paul. Uh uh how would you not say amen to that? So amen to that on behalf of myself and you, my friends. Iku Koneri Agbeche. So joining us after a period of hiatus, the elegance that is uh 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 legal luminary uh S A N uh uh well well for for one man went to more so that's a Benny right there so good to have a Benny uh, can I join us uh oh no doubt to give us a report card on what happened in spaces our uh, father of the bride that Daniel Coco there released right there to make sense of it all for all of you uh um uh, our computer engineer Emmy joins us and Patoski almost certainly driving or eating that's how he usually comes in but uh uh oh that's in jest of course so so uh good to have you gentlemen still plenty of spaces anybody that wants to jump on jump on uh let's kick it off uh kick it off with ogweni who we've not heard from uh in a while ogweni good to see you oh my thank you for having me <laughs> okay what about that well, i greet everyone all the panelists i cannot <laughs> another help down is not here today uh Patos, <laughs> all right come into it wherever you want to come into it the the i, I think the big story wraps around peter Obi's appearance on social media today i'm not quite sure how much of it you caught uh but if you didn't catch much of it there wasn't really much uh from it but uh do you want to speak to that or do you want to go uh, into the depth of politics Oh yeah, let, let me speak a bit on this uh, Peter Obi thing. Even though I don't really like speaking about Peter Obi, as far as I'm concerned, those ones that still follow Peter Obi, they are the people who uh, are, you know, there is this saying that uh, uh, one of the people that is most difficult to wake up in life 
is uh, somebody who is pretending that he's sleeping. There's no way you can wake that kind of person up when you are pretending that you are sleeping. Many people that are still following OB to date, they are like the flies that will always go with the corpse in the grave. And there is nothing, there is no way you will chase them out. They will always go with the corpse. That, that's the way I see people following OB. Because what is it that... Um, that will be said because I, I listened to the whole thing he said on that uh, Twitter thing, and I wonder if um, um, somebody with a sound understanding of Nigerian politics and also understanding of what is happening in, 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 this, in this environment um, will put one or two things together and even leave that platform in less than maybe first 30 minutes of him talking. Few things yeah, I, was, I was going to say you have a lot of endurance. I streamed it live here, but I didn't even listen to most of it. Uh, it, it was just irritating, but uh, well done for listening to it. Uh, carry on. I listen to him. I'm, I'm, by my training, I'm used to listening to both white people and idiots. So, and then we pick things out from what people are saying, and we look at the way people reason, both lows and highs, from different walks of life. So, I, and even the kind of questions. <laughs> Let me start from. The kind of question they were even asking will be, I, I wonder, but 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 it's it, 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 um, it's a normal thing in this Gen Z thing, which uh, we, we, we must all come to, you know, to understand and also to start um, tolerating now because they have come to stay. It has come to stay with us and we have to live, you know, by it. The kind of question they have sometimes, I wonder if how, how deep the um, incoming generation of, people we have now on, on the platform are, are really. Um, one of the questions they ask, and, and it sounds very funny to me, I asked some few guys around me who are of that, that generation too, and they couldn't even answer. They were talking about, the, the, the person was asking a question about the Senegal Faye, and from his question, what he, he said was that, uh, that Faye happened to be the first and the youngest president to ever be, be um, elected in Af African history. <laughs> and I wonder how much you need that the person knows about African history, that um, Faye at 44, you think is the, is the youngest. So where do you put Joseph Kabila that became president of um, his country at 29? Okay. Or where do you put um, um, Lumumba? That became his own at 38. But they don't read history. That's the problem with these Gen Z people. And the little they pick, they pick it from Twitter, Instagram, and all these few places where they only post whatever they like, and then people read, and that's where they learn their history. So, but that's by the way, anyway. And even the OB himself cannot even correct them and say, look. <laughs> you, you know, you know, when it, somebody somebody actually sent something to me, I wondered why they sent it why they sent it, but uh, you now saying that uh, it makes sense of it. Somebody sent uh, African leaders heads of state below 50 uh, years of age, and, and there's, there's just a whole raft of them, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, they, they, there's uh, the, the guy in uh, Burkina Faso, he's 36, uh, the one in Chad is 39, the one in Mali is 41, Guinea 44, uh, on and on, so, so yeah, uh, but I carry yeah. on. And, and one more, this is, these are even the current ones, right? So the the assertion that person made was that the guy Faye from Senegal happened to be the youngest ever, you know, elected in Africa history. But if you don't know African history, why don't you just keep quiet and just say, okay, this man 44, then ask your question. But you know, they made wide assertion, like as if they have the understanding of what African space is about. They don't even read history. They go to Twitter, Instagram. These are the short, short places where they read these days. You hardly see them reading any historical book, and they just jump out and then they start asking questions. And even the OB who is in his 60s, who should understand this at least better, particularly with his knowledge of uh, philosophy that I studied in school, at least little history from philosophy, to be able to tell them that no, Faye is not the first ever. There have been people, even under 30, elected not even by military intervention, elected in Africa in the past. So, but that's by the way anyway. But for me, I pick one or two things from what will be, first and foremost, I know Obi is leaving Labour Party. 
that's for sure. But one thing that baffles me is this. You see, I don't understand how people think. Over time, they've been telling us that all the obese spokesman, because he has this way of, uh, you know, hiding under the small screen of his spokesman talking, and then without him coming out to talk directly to issues, except on few issues he feel, oh, he should talk about, and then create the kind of, uh, you know, this sentimental thing, and everybody start healing. Now, all his um, spokesmen, Tanko, even Abure himself, Okonko Kenneth, um, Yusuf, Aisha, and all of them, what they have been maintaining over time for us is that is the ruling party that is troubling Labour Party. Was that not what they've been telling us all this time? When uh, um, this guy uh, Arabambi came up, they said, "Oh, don't mind them. Tinubu is the one sponsor Arabambi." A papa came up and said, "This Abure guy. They said, oh, no, 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 don't mind them. Abure didn't forge anything. We are giving him a very clean sheet." The treasurer girl came out, that lady came out and said, this Abure see his property everywhere, fine around there. said, no, he has a very clean this thing. I remember when Doyo Kupe also came out and said, X, Y, Z, they about to end. He said, oh, so no, 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 no. In fact, Abure was the first to come out and they castigated Doyo Kupe and that when the guy resigned from their party. Uh, then they brought the, uh, what do you call this woman? The former shaman, that interim shaman between the one that died and Abure, who said that Abure kicked her out of office in a Gestapo manner and that Abure didn't conduct any, uh, any election to get to that office and that uh, they said, oh, don't mind them. The woman said, I did not sign anything in their account. They said, oh, don't mind them. They are all being sponsored by the, the ruling party. Now, the question that I keep asking myself recently is that is Ajero also being sponsored by the ruling party or, or what exactly has changed? Nothing has changed than the obedience in their normal you, you know it's the is the skittish way that that space functions you know for weeks on end all they were telling us is that the economy was collapsing they had expected that naira was going to be exchanging for uh five thousand to the dollars etc etc you couldn't draw breath without them screeching about and uh, squealing about it now that the currency has, has started to strengthen you don't hear a word anymore no, they are still projecting it. Uh, if you listen to the to Peter Obi interview today, he's still talking about it. I could quote him verbatimly. He still said he believe it will be it will get worse. He, he said it clearly today that it's going to get worse. And what was his uh, what was his uh, his projection? In fact, I, I even wonder. You know, the first thing that even agitates me was the fact that uh, they call him uh, is he economist by excellence or what? I, I don't even understand. <laughs> but he used to call himself a trader. Maybe when uh, was he Soludo or who was castigating him some other time, I said, okay, I know I don't know much like you because I'm just a trader. I don't know where he studied his own economics from and that made them to call him an economic person. But that's by the way. But he, he, his own projection, he said, because somebody, one of them asked him that question, that um, is he worth celebrating? That now he's uh, Naira 1,400 to $1. And then they now ask him one rhetorical question that doesn't even make any sense. That now that uh, one and one one dollar is one 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 thousand four hundred. Uh, why is it not affecting the price of goods? So Peter should come and explain to Nigerians why the the downfall in ta in naira in dollar is not affecting Nigerian goods. You can imagine the kind of question. And what was his question? What was his answer? His own understanding of the reason why it's going down now is that. He said because CBN, you know, CBN mop up Naira in the system, according to him, and that having done that, they now increase the cost interest rates, you know, on loan. And based on that, it affects liquidity, you know, within the system. And that, that is what is functioning now. So what he's saying is that as it stands now, according to him, the manufacturing industry cannot borrow because it's not sustainable for them. They won't be able to return um to make profit and then return whatever is it on any loan they are borrowing and then he believes that it's going to get worse he believes that that money that exchange rate will jump back and then it's going to get worse than it was before they brought in brought it down because he believed and he and he projected that more companies will collapse and that no company will be able to pay that in so more company will pack up so so sometimes, you know, when they speak about Nigeria, oh, everything is finished, thing will get destroyed, thing will do. 
And I wonder, this is the same Nigeria you want to come and lead. But your own projection about Nigeria is always negative. Even when things are going positive, you will never... You know, I was watching uh, Trump and Clinton recently, and they were talking about, uh, you know, in, in their last election, and uh, they asked one of them, oh, what is the best thing you say about this, this man, at least in all the evil thing you'll be talking? What's the good thing you say? Obani. You, you Obani. Know, Hillary Clinton was still able to say something about Trump and say, oh, your children, you train your children well and things like that. And they asked Trump too. He said, oh, she's a fighter and everything. But you see, when you have a man who will never see any good in another man, I call them sadists. Obani. Why I, Obani. Say, I tell you, you see, the, all the sadists Peter Obi has around him, I tell you, they will not come on this platform. One of them is Dele Faro Timi. You know, I told you Dele Faro Timi will not honor your invitation on this platform. No, this no, it, 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 it will, though. Uh, it will, because he tried to come on and he couldn't get into the studio. So I, 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 I'm not sure if, uh, because it's not proving difficult to reach him back to, uh, but uh, for, before that day, he was ready to come on. He just could not access the studio. So okay. yeah, Let, let's see if we will come up. You know, people like that don't see, they don't see anything good in Nigeria. For them, the building in Nigeria is finished. For them, the building is, is nothing. I don't want. to Benny, Benny, Benny. But 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 that uh, OB statement that you know the currency value with um, was off. Um, I mean, as an opposition that doesn't believe in the economic policy of this uh, administration what do you expect him to say i mean when he's saying it doesn't mean that he doesn't want nigeria to uh, he doesn't believe in nigeria it does mean that uh, the current administration is not uh, um, i mean economic policy is not working and it's never going to work it doesn't mean that he hates nigeria he doesn't believe in nigeria so i disagree with you with uh, what you are saying there Anyway, if you had put it the way you put it, probably I wouldn't have reacted this way. The way, the way, the way he put it was that he believed that it's going to get worse than what it was before. And my hone is this. Why won't he hope? Obeni, oh, 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 let me okay. let me come in. Yeah. Right. You, you, you said that uh, you you what you mean by his statement that he's a sadist and all those stuff but he made it clear there that he is not ready to be present if everything about the country is working which he has mentioned coming to electricity and the economy and the, with what you just said about what he said in the in the in the little appreciation in the naira because i call it little because most of the time the figures you guys put out there i just laugh yeah i laugh because uh, staying on ground i know most of the time, your figures are mo most of the time 50 naira or 70 naira difference in the black market. So I love you guys when you carry all this, uh, all this uh, propaganda to, to make uh, the economy look good. You understand? So the analysis he gave, what he simply means is that what the current government is doing is not what is sustainable. It's not, that, it's not going to carry us for too long, which you know. But if you have any other opinion apart from that, or what you believe that this economy or the current policies is going to carry us too long, too long to maintain the economy, then you can tell me. Because even like me, me as an individual, I know that the current policies that is uh, making the Naira to appreciate a little bit, is not sustainable. He made it simply clear that what he knows and what he believes that will strengthen the economy is the supply. We are not making enough supply in the market, which you know. And he made it clear there. It's not as if uh, he said that the, the, he believed that the thing is, will not work, but he also put out a solution and what he believed will make the economy to stand strong, not all these policies. So what are you saying? What, what, do you, what are you trying to explain? Okay, can, then, I, can, I, can I explain something? No, Sorry, please, uh, not to cut you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Then, let me just mention this. You see, what Ogbeni is saying is very correct, and I'll tell you why. Obi himself, with his analysis, has shot himself in the leg. Obi simply said that the CBN and the current government that they are trying to cut down inflation. 
And that is the key element that drive foreign exchange. The key element that drive foreign exchange are inflations and interest rates. You understand? If your inflation is high, your exchange rate, your rate of currency that's it, to other currency with a lower in, uh, inflation, it will, your currency will crash. The same thing with your interest rate. Those are the key economic factor. If you ask any economic, ask any accountant, they will tell you, oh, the principal drivers of, um, of exchange rate are inflation and interest rate. Go to the United States. A kind of, for example, you will agree with me that apart from uh, financial services and maybe education, the UK is probably not producing as much as other major economy. But they have the highest exchange rate in their currency. They have UK today still has the biggest, the strongest currency in the world because their financial system is perfect. They have the best, so they manage inflation. They manage exchange rate. They, they do those things and their exchange rate, they, are, they manage the inflation and manage interest rate. So the exchange rate will be strong. So, what Obi is simply saying is that he doesn't know what drives the economy. There are countries that are supplying, that are producing, that are doing everything, but their exchange rate is, is low. You understand? China, for example, China exchange rate is very low compared to other big economy. You understand what I'm saying? So, OB does, obviously, OB does not understand what economy is from his analysis. With due respect and with sense of humility, you understand? I'm not saying I know economics more than him, but I studied economics. He didn't study economics, so I practice. Well, I, well, I, well I for, me, for me, for me, for so me, what you said, what you said is not correct. What you said is not correct, uh, Mr. Patrick. Okay. I believe, I believe, I believe. Let me, let me, let me, let me come in, Obuni. I believe. Oh, oh, all right, oh, all right. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I don't want you to spiral. Let Ekene make that point, and then uh, Obuni take the uh, the mic back. Ekene, I believe with what I know that supply is what is going to make our economy look better. So even the the policies you guys are talking about, I don't see the sustainability in it. You understand? So the supply is what I believe we make the exchange rate to look more good and more better. Even at that, what's the record? What's the what's the what's the achievement? What's the achievement that you guys are celebrating? If we are talking about a strong economy or strong uh, strong naira, we st we are still at the lowest. If you are telling me with even the current policies, what do you mean that a, a, a manufacturer will go to the bank and borrow? to 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 manufacture or to set up an industry at a 40 percent interest rate or at five percent interest rate how does that sound to you is that not clean economy so i don't i don't know what, what you guys believe and what you want to believe but for me i am my stance still remain my stance still remain that this is not a sustainable but maybe for some time or maybe they have another way to put it maybe at the end of the day but celebrating naira at 1,317 naira, 380 naira, which APC met at 180 or 200 there about. But today you guys are celebrating at 1,380. It's really close to me. And it, that shows uh, you oh, guys oh, don't know oh, what oh, 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 All right. If, if that's your stance, then you don't, uh, then maybe listen to Ogbeni and, uh, and, um, uh, and, 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 uh, and Patoski. The naira was subsidized now it's free floating so that's that's uh, but uh, well, um, i'll well, it back to you yeah uh, first and foremost i don't uh, i may not expect uh, kenneth to probably understand naira floating theory and uh, so because of that we're excusing um the person i won't excuse is peter obi but i may also want to excuse him like patoki patoki said see there is a striking difference between a trader and an economist it's very simple. If you go to university, you know there's a striking difference. It's just like somebody who studied accounting and somebody who studied finance. They're not the same. You may be looking at them and say, oh, they are both in the social science faculty. But they're not the same. A trader is just someone who engages in buying and selling, you know, asset, goods, and sometimes probably stock, bonds, and currency, and others. And you are just simply making profits from it, probably for short-term market movement or, you know, so traders typically focuses on analyzing market trends. You identify your trading opportunities, then you cash out, and they don't dig deeply in analysis. An economist, on the other hand, they are a professional who studies 
They analyze the production, distribution, you know, consumption of goods and services in an economy. Economists use economic theories and modules. I don't expect Peter will be. Peter will be in his answer simply show he's a trader, he's not an economist. An economist use theories, models, data to understand and then forecast economy trends. They evaluate policy decisions, they reevaluate, they review, and then they provide insight into many issues on inflation and others. But so for a man to just jump up and say, um, I don't expect this to continue like this. Why? Because of one single reason. And I laugh. Who told him that is the only single reasons or indices that influence exchange rates? That is not the only. Even for me at my own little level of studying law, but a little bit of economic law, I understand that many of indices, interest rates, inflation rates, your economic performance, your political stability and economic policies, your trade balances, your the way uh, your central bank in, in interventions, market sentiments and speculation, and so many other things that things that contribute to your exchange rate. And not just you are hammering on production, production, produ production every time. That's not the only thing. And when they ask him to provide solution, see the solution he provides, and I laugh. The solution is that government should borrow more. That's the solution. You can go back to that video and go and replay it. It's still there. He said for him that the only way is to deal with, you know, dollar is to find a way to increase supply. And he said by that, go government should go back to borrow more. Then they should use that thing to finance dollar-related businesses. So what kind? But I understand that's, that's the kind of um, solution you get from a trader and not an economist. And so... Uh, Ekene, I, I understand your perspective and understand the angle you're coming from. But my only answer to that is that you are coming from the, from the perspective of a trader. You are not coming from the perspective of an economist. And that is the same ignorance that um, Peter Obi expresses or exhibited today. And I wonder the people who study the economists that still follow him, uh, well, maybe for, 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 for some other reasons, well, that's why they are following him, but if they really have a deep thinking of what he's talking about, they should know by now that this is not the basic economic thing that, they, that uh, Peter should be talking about foreign exchange. And for me, yes, for him, he's pessimistic about the whole thing. He believes that uh, things will, will jump back and get worse. That's, that's the normal obedient logo. We are not, um, we, we don't fight them based on that. But, but you know, to the, uh, uh, to the related question, you know, this is the reason you know this price you guys are talking about is not affecting this uh, exchange rate you are talking about is not affecting the price of goods in the market and there are some certain reasons to that you okay. understand yes. that, that that interest rate you are talking about yes uh, a, a, a producer will not go and the manufacture money to pay it he has to Any add it to the cost of his reasons why it's not affecting price of goods <laughs> no let me finish he is he's going to he's going to he's going to restructure his price of goods according to the interest rate and the common man will be the one paying it you understand you know he's not going to manufacture money to pay it so oh, there is, you said that uh, your your economy is the best and all that. we are talking about uh, this policies is not really in fact the price of goods are even going up in the market can, that, can, 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 me, can i can i can i can i need to ask you when it's something okay I want um, to land. To Please let um, let let land. let, let land, uh, and then uh, dual, uh, um, uh, rather prestige ask that question. Um, or when you respond to it, then bring that topic to a close, and then we move on. So land, to yeah. is that okay. what is so, so, so? What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this. So let me ask you: this, uh, No manufacturer Ekene produce wait. today. No manufacturer produce uh, produce anything. Now. Wait. Okay. Why okay. do you okay. think? Why do you think that thing is not affecting? the price of goods in the market, considering not only the manufacturers, consider farmers and others too, because there are, there are produce in Nigeria that are not coming from manufacturing industry. So why do you think it's not affecting prices of food and other things in the in, in, in Nigerian space? That's what I told you. The interest rate is, is, is uh, contributing, to, contributing to that. You know, even as a even as a farmer, even as a farmer, 
I don't know the interest rate, but I think they have the lower, but I don't know. But even as a farmer, you, you take loan at a 40% or that 5% interest rate. Who is going to pay for it? You know what it is in the, you know, it, 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 nobody makes, if you make a profit of 25% in your goods, you are, you are making a very big profit. You're making a very big profit. Then you are you're talking about your only, your only interest rate. The only interest rate in your in your cost of production is almost forty percent or that five percent. Who is going to pay for it? It's the common man. Then you okay. are not going to add. Uh, you are not going to add other because you are going to make your own profit after making the after making the interest rate. You add your own profit. So how? Tell me how it's going to affect the price of goods. And that's oh, what oh, oh. we are trying to explain to you guys. You call it the uh, uh, Alaba economy yeah. or whatever economy, uh, but that's the reality. Uh, uh, again, you have just shown to us that you are a trader and not an economist. And uh, no offense to that. Please don't take offense. But that is what you are. You are not an economist. You won't claim what you are not. Let me let me say this. Let me say this. Okay. Hey, look. What Ekene is saying is the reality on the ground. No, it's a Iraq. rudimentary. It's a rudimentary perception. Is what Ogwen uh, is saying. It's a. Uh, it's 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 um. It's right at a base level understanding. That's what um. That's that's what uh, Ogwen is saying. What uh, one more telling now? Let me see let what me. I'm saying so that I don't take too much time here. No, let see, me. Let me. Let me I'm land. not. Uh, let me land let me land okay you can land you can land yes but please don't take too much oh, time no i mean we are all here together so let us let us no, so the others can other. have their own time too and let, let us listen to each other because the way you are describing um Ekeneb's, uh question it's like he, he doesn't know what he's talking. He's not an economist. No, <laughs> I said to... he's talking for me. No, no, no. Don't put us against each other, please. Uh, uh, I uh, said, no, 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 no. Sorry, please. Okay. Let, let me clarify what I said. Yeah. If I said you are talking from the pers perspective of a trader, it's a profession. Trading is a profession on its own. It's different from a perspective of an economist. It's different from a perspective of an industrialist. It's different from a perspective of a technician. So you all have a uh, profession, and I'm not denigrating. I, I agree. I'm not. I'm uh, not saying you are dead, making it all right. Yeah. Of his profession, but what we are saying, what Ekene is telling us, this uh, you can call it economic. You can call it whatever you want to call it. It's not working. In the practical aspect of it, is not working. On the ground, the situation. It's so, so sorry, how is it? Uh, no, no, it's not. Um, uh, yesterday, I was actually going to bring you uh, stories of food items falling, the itemized state, using Indomie as the example, which is slashing by 40% right across all markets in Nigeria. But uh, it, it, we are seeing it in real time, and nobody, it, the, the, it, has, it has plateaued. One, this skyrocketing, even cement is coming, everything is coming down. Are off the back of economic policies being taken by uh, uh, by the government, so uh, we cannot say it's not working now. When it patently is, I don't know what you guys are talking. You can read whatever you want to read. Yes, I don't have a I to 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 now in the battle. And what did you say? Uh, what did you say? I said uh, petrol I mean, is now 580 from 6. Yeah, not just the bottom. The petrol is falling. I mean, the economy is bouncing back. There's no. Oh, man, you people should not be saying this. Though. You people yes. are using propaganda. Petrol is 680 naira. What are you saying? I don't, I don't know what, what are you are saying. I, I talk to yeah. people every day. <laughs> I, I, I bought okay, today. I just talked to my brother I mean, today. Who even people, places, places, that Lagos, places, places that is not Lagos, places that is not Lagos, places that is not Lagos. Petrol is selling for about seven hundred and ten naira. What are you telling me? No, 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 no. One, one, one voice, one voice, one voice. Uh, but just to manage I, the time, I, uh, I, I, don't, uh, I just saw them put a put a price track that uh, petrol from six thirty from six forty will be six six thirty. Just, just I said today, petrol is eighty. Some places oh. in Nigeria that is not Lagos, they are selling for seven something. You will be here. Okay. You will be saying what you don't know that is happening on the ground. 
You are not the only one on ground, though. You are not the only one on ground. They can uh, a, a lot of people. We may not be on ground, but uh, our reach, our reach, our, our, our reach is on ground. No, our reach is on No, our reach is on the ground. Even if we are not physically there, but uh, we have on the ground that can tell us what is really going on. Uh, but uh, Ekana is an honest man, but it's a partisan man too. There's uh, no issue of being partisan. One man is if petrol is like is, is below six something or below five. I will tell you. I bought petrol today. I bought uh, you, you know, you know what, what, what Darati was saying, it was actually in one of the headlines that I saw, but I just thought the story was too weak to bring. You, uh, you so read that, right? that's, that's why when you talk about this dollar issue, I laugh at you guys. Because some people say they were selling dollar 1,000 naira at Abuja. I will laugh. Some people say they are selling dollar 1,002. I will laugh. Dollar is 1,380 uh, Don't worry. You don't worry. By this time next week, you yourself will come and confirm it. But uh, 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 when uh, I see uh, it, I will confirm, but uh, now uh, I'm not seeing it. No, uh, all right. Uh, but uh, in when conclusion, he... let me learn. Uh, yeah. What Ekene is just telling us, and, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean I mean, I don't think it's saying that the government is not doing anything to, you know, um, to make the economy work. But what he's saying is that looking at the performance of um, uh, Naira against the prices of commodities, you you cannot re, you cannot re, uh, uh, reconcile it. Yes, naira is appreciating against dollar. It's now one thousand two hundred plus, or one thousand almost one thousand three. But the prices of commodity, many. Yes, yeah, you can see some few that yes, maybe they drop due to some um, uh, like cement because government is. Uh, is fighting against um, Dangote and distress, threatening them. But majority of the products in the market, the prices are going up. That is what the Kenya is telling us. And I have people telling me this too in Nigeria. So let us listen to ourselves. And then, you know, when person in Nigeria speak or is telling us what is on the ground, you don't say because he belongs to one party and say, oh, he is partisan, and then let's rub it in the way. No, uh, 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 no, uh, Koko, uh, Koko, um, you, when people are presenting a counter argument, they are not just making things up in their head. They are, they are make they are presenting that counter argument both from what they are also hearing on the ground in Nigeria as well, as well as in the news cycle. So. Uh, ultimately, uh, as time goes on, anyway, we'll see how it plays out uh, in, I, I in real have time. A friend uh, who is a baker, <clears throat> and I talked to him a day before yesterday, and he's complaining seriously that he wants to quit. I'm even supporting him, telling him, "No, don't quit, don't leave it. Let, let's let's see what we can. How, what just let's go on with it. You know, don't 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 quit." He was telling me. What they were buying as a, you know, a, a sugar, a, a bag of sugar, let, let, maybe 50 kg, was like 35,000. As at maybe January or, or maybe January or, the, or December, 35 is now 95,000. And so the flowers and so other this, this thing. He, he, he said it, it's hot. And, and then what do you call it? This too. He said it's killing him. It's like he's, he, he doesn't know. He, he wants to close down that business. So if you have somebody in Nigeria who is... And the, and the Babaja, and Babaja and to, crown, to crown it up, to crown it up, no, ele no electricity to, to, to support. No, 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 more anecdote. no, 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 let her Benny take the floor back or when he take the floor back. Sorry, sorry, can I but uh, thank you. That's how, that's how we get stuck. Uh, yeah, I, I saw yeah. you wanted me to intervene. Ask you when oh, oh, oh so, sorry, yes, uh, sorry, yeah, let her, uh, yeah, come in. So, I beg your pardon, uh, yeah, uh, prestige. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, nice to, um, nice to be on this platform today. Um, I listened to a bit, um, not all, not all the comments because most you know, a few times you know, I left and I went on a meeting, but anyway, having said, I think I joined into because of um. When you commentary, you know, because the way as the way I, the way I understood what he's trying to say, that will be with his, you know, with his uh, um, my economic myopic, you know, view. 
that most people that followed him are kind of stupid. That's my understanding of what he said. But I think that's very wrong for you to make that kind of commentary. And if, if I'm wrong, he, he that's what he said. He didn't use the word stupid. But not hold my on, that's my understanding about what he said, the followers of OB. OB. The word stupid is your own choice of word. It's not mine. Yeah, but you don't have to use the word stupid. There's a many ways to use the word stupid. I didn't use the word stupid. You chose you don't, that. You didn't use the word stupid, but my understanding. Yeah. But I didn't call you to worry you about that. That's not even my issue, you know. Okay, but don't 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 use the word I didn't use. Well, that's that's my own understanding of it, okay? Okay, and I'm, that's I'm good. It's your understanding. So, that's a good clarification, yeah. But I didn't use the word. But anyway. Um, right. The point I'm trying to make, um, one man, um, we know Naira is appreciating, but I sent money to Nigeria. Now, today I spoke to somebody in Ogu State. I mean, I think yesterday it was like about 13 something. Today they exchange the money at 14 something. So it's going to be going maybe up and down, up and down, you know. So it's not really steady. Nowhere, you know, nowhere the money has depreciated below, you know, like about a thousand. Hopefully get there, but it's a steady, you know. It's gonna be it's gonna be steady to go there, but at the point I'm trying to make, you know, the inflation is still very high because I asked them, you know, the purchase of what they bought and everything. They say it's pretty high. It's still about the same level. So in that regard, the food inflation and everything has not come down. You know, like when it was steady, you know, yeah, the interest rate and the, the interest rate and the inflation go hand to hand. I mean, you know, when inflation is high, you know. You try to increase, you know, increase the interest rate in order to counter it. And if inflation go, you know, go down, then you decrease the interest rate. So right now we have a very high inflation, you know. So the dollar being up, being that it's appreciating right now has not really done anything to the in, in economic of Nigeria. It has to be at a particular level because when this government came in, I believe they made um, the dollar rate at that particular time maybe about seven hundred, if not below seven hundred. So they still have a lot of work to do, but we just have to come here, you know, and make our own commentary and say what we want. But we need to come here, you know, and, and talk in the way to improve the economy. I'm just tired of coming here every day, bashing the government or whatever. I'm not saying they are doing a good job, but sometimes we need you need to devote a day. We just come here, you know, and provide any kind of solution. You know, what we can do, you know, maybe they hear us, listen to us in order to better the country. That's that's the point of view I'm talking about. But I'll talk during my own time. Thank you. Okay, thank you, man of prestige. And thank you for making the clarification that I didn't call them stupid. Um, although once in a while, I do call the ob obedient obedience when they misbehave, but not all. Um, and I respect you. I'm, I, I don't think you fall in that class. No, I'm not, I'm not obedient, I'm obedient supporter. But anyway, go ahead, Obini, no problem. Okay, Mama. so uh, you see, we have this thing I call endowment mentality in Nigeria. We don't take time to study things and we always prove we know it, even more than the people that study it. And this is an attitude that I think we, we, it has come to stay in our space and we always live by heat. That's what I used to tell my colleagues now. Everybody claim they are lawyers now. They will even quote law more than you and they will tell you don't know anything. We are here as a Gen Z thing and we are here to live by heat. So for me, first, they has to be that question. <laughs> and I see the way he answered it again, like a trader which uh, Ekene just uh, exhibited again this night. And I think probably by extension by Bajali and Koko. See, there's something they call market psychology. Market does not react immediately as you want it to exchange rate or whatever is happening to your, um, I don't know what economists will put it. There's a time lag. That's what they call market inertia. If I, I don't know if the collateral is around, collateral should be able to explain this thing more to us. So, you see, market behaves like human being. It's very simple. Mama Ojo is selling something or Mama Chukudi is selling something. And they tell Mama Chukudi, look, where you are collecting this thing, the price has dropped. Oh. Mama Chukudi wants to understand whether there will be stability before she changes her price. She won't change her price immediately. She takes time and then waits for stability in the market before he changes his price. So don't think, it, and that's why I said, this economy, you need to understand the fundamentals before you can, you can, you can, you start, um, how do I put it? Analyzing it. And that's why for me, things I don't know, I talk less about it. It, it makes one 
oh, it, it makes you even earn respect when you say, oh, this thing, I don't know really much in it. But this is the little I know about it. For me, the little I know about it is there's a market psychology. And your market, and there's all, they also call market sentiments. So it doesn't really hurt to all these things immediately. There must be stability in the system. And that is the area I agree with uh, OB because he said something close to that to say, look, we are still washing. Let us see what we come of this before he now jump to his, you know, to feed these people the way you always feed them like uh, they feed monkeys with banana. So now say, ah, okay, because I don't believe that it, he doesn't believe that it will get better, you know? So that's, that's the market psychology and the sentiment. It won't react immediately. So hopefully, and, and let me tell you, I stay in the UK I, and I watch, I, 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 I deal in foreign currency sometimes and I watch the way this thing is not, there's no way you get, I, I, there was a time I, I traded forex while I was in Ife. You won't get, and that's why you get that graph going up, down, going up, down, going up, down. You won't get a straight line. And you think it will only be straight like, no, 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 no. Yes, it will stabilize to the extent that you know your low and your high will be within a particular range. Okay? But it's not as if your low will, will now stay, won't stay for, no, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Ex that is where you are floating your currency. It is only when you are not floating your currency that you are buying that margin and you allow that thing to stay like that. But that is not what we are doing in Nigeria. That is by the way. And secondly, when people come, on this platform and say, oh, we are on ground. We are the ones that should tell you, please, stop that. Tell me you are on ground, therefore you know. Statistic tells us that last year alone, diaspora remittance back to Nigeria was about 28.6 billion. We send money home every time and we exchange. We deal more in this currency than you are. So don't just jump and say, oh, no, because we know what is happening on ground in this thing. This is what they are exchanging. Can you, do you exchange how much diasporans are exchanging, sending money back home? The answer is a big no. In the U.S. alone, go and check the statistic. Last year, Nigerians remitted 28.6 billion back to Nigeria to their relatives, to people. So we saw this, we see this thing. As of today, I've sent money to Remitly and I've sent money to, to Lemmy today alone. And I knew I sent, um, um, the one I sent uh, to Remitly was about not up to 1,300. Then the one we sent through Lemmy, that one was, was pants. I think that one was about I mean, one, one five something or one six something. So we should, so when we are not talking, when we are talking about exchange rate, don't think it's only your knowledge of what is happening in the Lagos black market that we are, um, that will be source of information here. No. We in diaspora also do send money or we deal with this thing every day, every blessed day. People ask for money, we send. So we understand this also. So please, let's balance this thing so that it's not as if uh, we'll now be sourcing for our, it's only people that are back, that stay in Nigeria that can tell us what exactly the exchange rate is. And for me, I'm not saying it is Hureka, and I'm not saying that's the calculation I also want to make. I'm not saying that you should start paying, pra praising the government. I'm not saying you should stop celebrating Naira increase. For me, I'm still on a standby to wash. But when I see something improving, I'm not a sadist. I won't be pessimistic about it. For me, I will study it and say, okay, maybe they are doing what they are doing right. Let's keep seeing them. And then encourage them. And I just come up with uh, one flip and say, ah, no, no, they are not. What are they doing? They are just doing the thing. thing will still get bad. That's a sadistic way of viewing things. And the fact that you are in opposition, you are playing opposition politics, shouldn't make you a sadist. We are here, look at Israel. Look at what is happening in Israel today. They are the common enemy, they are fighting, and they form a unity cabinet. And all of them put hands on deck, and they are fighting what they are fighting. But we are here, somebody, things are improving a bit in your country. You are putting up a, a sadistic uh, perspective to it. You don't believe it to what you believe it to collapse. Then it will collapse, it will wait to 2027 when another election will come. Is that what we will do? And lastly, too, on this point, you see, when people come and say, Oh, um, we shouldn't be coming here to rant and da da da, and that what we should be coming is to offer a solution. I don't think in no platform that I've always going to go, I've been to, I don't think there's any platform for now in us that I've gone to that offer a solution like we do on this platform. And some of our solutions are reflected in the policies of this government. 
I can tell you for free. I remember when somebody on this platform talked about forest police or something like that. I talked against that forest police thing. And a few months or weeks after, um, I learned uh, who is the guy in the uh, Ministry of Mines and talking about it was on this platform. We spoke, we were even saying, ah, maybe they even heard us. And a lot of things we spoke, we talked about on this platform. So it's a platform where we come to, we also offer solution on like one platform that is saying, uh, they go there, they rant every day. They tell you how Oluremi is not dressing well. They tell you how uh, Peter Obi is the best in the world. They will tell you Cho Cho Inka is a year to bad year. They will tell you Chichimachimamanda is now the best, is the Shinashibi of the year. This platform is not like that. We brought many. Obene, 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 please, uh, just a question. Do you have any problem with uh, Peter Obi? Is there any problem? Or do you have any tribal issue? What's going on with you? Um, uh, if, not, if people if people if people talk about if people talk about showing i've said it on this show before it is not because showing is from the yoruba it's because of his attitude who is talking first? right so that this is Joel Joel of Nashville. Joel of Nashville. you understand what i'm saying yeah it is because oh, it, I, i've said it on this show before normally we don't go after people but if you come to us if you reduce yourself as an elder and you want to play with their uh, kids then we're, we're going to post that on your head you understand oh, oh, oh. what I'm saying? So it is not nobody is coming here to talk about uh, uh, uh car or talk about Obi. Nobody here on this platform, including one man, has come out here to talk, say anything good about Obi. Does that make him a sadist? So sometimes when you come out here and you make up, you make up this point, trying to make it like it's a one-sided thing. No, if 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 you're being sad, the same thing you stop others, you start feeling so uncomfortable. So I would just like us to just like stay steady on the topic rather than you know trying to put in all this uh, tribal or religious line to whatever thing we're trying to say. Thank you. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, oh, when you address that and then pivot from there to one more topic well, and then I'll take man, the conversation round. Yeah. There's a saying in Yoruba that says, one law may left for a for a da, a for a da. I will let for two kinship takiton, talu so quit takitoni. Whoever can translate that should translate it. Um, somebody who is selling, selling vegetable, they call you. How much is your vegetable? And the next thing you say, no, I didn't plug you from, 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 from the pit. I've never mentioned any tribe here today. I've never said, I only said there are some platform where they don't offer solution. The only thing they do is to castigate personalities. And somebody just jump out and his understanding of that is that, do I have any problem with Twitter be based on his tribe? Oh, when he, oh, when he, we are not stupid now. Come on, now you're a lawyer. You don't say oh. something out. You speak like a lawyer, so we no, understand what you, you mean. Made, you so made, don't you don't made. go there, okay? We know what. Oh, you oh, mean. Oh, oh, all right, yeah. Oh, 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 when you don't get like, don't get uh, pulled into that oh, space. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get pulled in. A, Otherwise, we could be there for. Yeah, it's a victim. It's a it's a is what I call victim mentality. Now you're saying. What well, I would like to leave that, but my own is that don't speak to my mouth what I didn't say. I didn't go tribal. My wife is Filani. You, you may not be more Nigerian than me. My wife is Filani. I'm a Yoruba man. I married a Filani lady. And I have in-laws as Igbos. So how can you be more Yoruba than how can you be more Nigerian are, than me? You are doing the same thing, Obi. It's just so, like white, white men. When they, marry, when they marry a black lady, they will tell you they are not racism. So don't be going there, okay? That's not no, relevant. That's, a, my that's a victim mentality. You don't know me. Talk less of something you don't know much about. What do you know about me? You only come on this platform and talk. What do you know about me? They are making you make some conclusions. Or you don't want me to talk about Peter Obi again? Oh, 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 oh I will talk about him and I will keep talking about him. You may be painful about whatever I say about him. He's a political figure and I will keep talking about him. You can't keep me short. That's that. Uh, one man. I would like to go to another topic. I think I've had enough of Peter Obi for today. 
So, Wama, is there another topic you want me to speak about? So, sorry, I was muted. Uh, there's this topic, which, which is a big deal to me, but nobody wants to really talk about it. Is this a coastal line that um that uh, Tinubu has ordered and um is in, already in the works? Even yes. somebody as critical as Edwin Clark is applauding this. And I'm saying this in terms of, we talk about infrastructure, infrastructure. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about infrastructure. So if he builds this coastal line, then that, that that's a leapfrog towards that one trillion economy. Because that one trillion economy is not magic money. It's putting infrastructures in place in order to enable, to unlock the potential for that economy to come to the fore. And this sort of uh, infrastructure right here is exactly that that path road to to that one trillion dollar economy. Well, ma, you you know um, I expect this government. I won't blame any other any other what do you call it um, any other people or anywhere uh, people for not. Uh, I expect this government themselves to blow their own trumpets. You know, and one of the problems Glo Jonathan had back then was exactly what they're having now. You know, it's exactly what they're having. During Gula Jonathan, Gula Jonathan did a lot of infrastructure development, but no good publicity for those things to let Nigerians see. Okay? And unfortunately, he has a very bad opposition, very stiff opposition that was on his neck, but no publicity. It's the same thing with this. Now, I've gone to some obedience space today, and don't let me say not only obedient, and many who are very skeptical about Nigeria, those who believe Nigeria is finished, Nigeria is bad, nothing good can ever come out of Nigeria, but they still talk about the country and they still want to lead the country. I've been to their, to their, to their space today. What were they talking about? I read some of them saying, why not Port Harcourt? Instead of doing this Lagos Calabaro, why not uh, revamp Port Harcourt uh, seaport so that they do Port Harcourt, da, da, da. And I laugh. One man, this Lagos Calabaro coastal road project is not today's project. That project has been mooted 20 something years ago down to Jonathan, down to Buhari. They will use it for campaigns on time when they go to Calabar and others. And after that, they let it down. Nobody said anything about it again. Until this government that, that has spent less than one year came on board and the FEC approved one trillion plus to execute that project. And after that, they moved on site and they started working fast. Lagos State had to pull down some structures, some of their structures, infrastructures that, that lie uh, along that, you know. The he, yes, so, somebody actually sent a clip of, uh, they, they, they started demolishing uh, yeah, uh, they they Jack, on the, Jack on the buildings even, uh, just to make road, road yeah. for that, uh, yeah. you know. So it's, it's happening, no, it's not even, it's not, it, it, you know, it's happening. It's something that they are doing, not something that they will do. Yes, uh, one more. Let me quickly answer before I go back to this. Please just give me a one minute to answer. Ever G said, Where are the infrastructures built by Jonathan? Let me give him just one that Jonathan built. In fact, two that Jonathan built. First, that Jonathan built nine federal universities after 30 something years plus that we built the last university in Nigeria that federal government ever owned. Jonathan was the only president who revisited that sector tertiary institution and build nine federal university for Nigeria from scratch, from nothing. He built it to the state that they had VC, they have their faculties, they started running and they produced their first graduate. Nine. In my state alone, they have one. We call it full year. He's still there today. He has his own VC and he has his, his staff quarter. He have everything. Nine university. But they won't see it. Why? No publicity. Next, this rail system, Jonathan made a lot of. And then third, second Niger Bridge, yes, Bari completed it. But Jonathan moved that into almost 80% now, 60-something. Very, he made a very substantial... The, the Aduna Abuja Rail, he built okay. it now. Even Bari told us, yeah, yeah, he, he Amishi, built it. <laughs> even Amishi confessed that he did it. So don't let us go there. It's just for me, by the way, to answer that person that said, we are Jonathan's infrastructure. But, you know, we know what happened. So, yes. On this coastal thing, it's a very big project, and and I I thank uh, Edwin Clark for coming out to speak, you know, about that project. It's not a project that uh, is just on paper now. They move on site, 
And what I expect people from that as is now to start doing instead of playing politics that won't bring anything to your region is to start watching and monitoring what is happening in that place. If the the uh, the person there is not is not perf is not uh, the contractor on site is not working as you think it should be, then start shouting. Then you might start calling you might name out. This is what I think opposition should be doing in in any democracy, so that at the end of the day, within a space of the time they said they're going to deliver, they deliver it. This thing is going to be a massive development for the south south part and southeast part. Because once we are able to get that corridor, you know what coastal airway is? So it takes the route, it cuts you off from all the housing and buzzing and everything in the country, and you go straight and enter, uh, enter Calabar. So as far as I'm concerned, I think it's a very good project that I think the government should blow their trumpet first. You don't allow many of the sadists. We have many sadists in our society today. I have no apology of saying that. There are so many sadists. There are many people that are not even happy that there is progress in Nigeria. I'm telling you, I have many, many of them in diaspora here. They, they are not even happy. Once you drop just one good news about Nigeria, they flare up. They feel agitated. They will tell you, go, don't mind, that country is finished. So, but, but when there is a bad news, they feast on it. And they are so happy. They, the way they'll be glutting, gleaning, and winning on it, you feel like, what? About your country? So, Mama, that would be all for me. I wish them well in, 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 in their attitude. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Excellent. So thank you, Ogbeni. So Ogbeni, still more topics for you to speak on, but uh, let's take the conversation around, then we look round back to you. We go to Ekene, from Ekene to Richard Prestige, um, Ajan De Coco, uh, and, and Joe. Uh, so Ekene, uh, you, you are up next. Uh, we're doing eight-minute monologues now, Ekene, just to get through the room quickly. Ekene? Around uh, one minute, eight minutes is too, too small, but I'll try and manage it. But uh, oh, oh, all right, carry on. Let's start uh, with eight minutes, and then we'll see where we land. Carry on. Uh, what uh, Oboni is trying to prove to us is that people uh, talking about the downfall of APC for the past eight and a uh, uh, nine years or so is not doing the right thing. Knowing where we come from and where we are today, even though a lot of people don't really like PDP. Or because of the action of PDP, are condemning PDP for certain things they have done maybe in terms of politics. But at least PDP were able to sustain the economy for some period of time, which APC could not do. For even just within a period of uh, four years, they have just uh, destroyed the economy, destroyed the whole, the whole stuff. And you want me to come here and be clapping for you to sustain the Naira at the rate of 1,318, or even sometimes at the rate of 1,004 something. I don't know. <laughs> and you call people sadist. You call people. If you are a businessman, you know what's, what's going on in your country. It takes you a lot of time to recover from any, all the evil policies made by this government for the past few years. It takes a lot of courage. It takes, of, it takes a lot of, a lot of uh, determination to, 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 to uphold your business. A lot of business has closed. A lot. Of, can we count it? Do you, even in this present administration, do you know the, uh, how many companies that, that, that have left our country? And when I come here, people say, uh, we don't know economy. It's a labor economy. It is the people, the people that design it with English that knows what economy is. Economy is practical. And I believe that if you go to people that practice economy, that is where real economy is. This economy is not by economy is not uh, uh, bringing all the all the grammars together and try to confuse a lot of people. Economy is is, is very simple. One plus one, one plus one will give you two. As simple as that. So seeing where we are today, practically, our economy is very down. Our purchasing power is very low. And uh, we are not working towards a direction to get it back on track. What we are just praying is that let's just sustain this Naira at least for some time. Maybe if it is 1,003, let it be 1,003 at least for some time so that people can recover. That's what people are just praying for. Not that we have it best. 
If you go to countries that practice economy, like China, you see how their economy booms. They don't speak big grammars. They practice economy. Their price remains the same for, for a very long time. You understand? What you buy in China in the last, in the last 15 years is still the same price today. The only time that their price was affected was during the COVID-19. In fact, it, it keeps on reducing instead of increasing. Their price of goods and commodities keeps on reducing instead of increasing. Because they do a lot of manufacturing and supply. They are business-minded. They practice economy. They don't speak much grammar in economy. So that's what Obi is telling you. But if you don't want to understand it, and you want to criticize him, you can continue to do that. Learn from the people that practice it and did it. Then apply it in, on your own. We have the human resources. We have the human capital. We have the land. Develop your human capital. Educate your people. The more you educate your people, the more your economy become. Uh, the more your economy becomes better. Today you don't have you don't have an economy or productive mindset people in our country because of lack of education. And the government is not thinking towards that. Economy is not only speaking English. Practical. Build your build the educational system. Educate the public. At least the basic education. To be able to know, the more you, you educate your people, the more productive they become. How can they become productive when you, when you have not educated them? Or build a system to educate them. And uh, if, what we do is every time we bring on CBN governor, trying to make it, let him to make a policies to sustain the Naira and do all those things and all those stuff without, uh, without the physical side of it working perfectly. Because we have people that don't practice economy. We only have people that speak grammars on economy. What is there? Even as, a, even as an individual, you know your, your yearly expenses. You know that if you are short of supply, at the end of the year, you cannot pay your house rent. If, if, your, if your yearly expenses is, uh, is about 1 million naira a year, your supply should be about 2 million naira for that year or, or 1.5 million for you to be able to pay, your, to pay your bills for the year, eat, do other stuff, and still have a lot of savings, some savings in your account. If you're not able to do that, your business will not move forward. So what, what do you have to do to, 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 to be able to meet up at the end of the year as a businessman? You supply. You need a lot of customers. You need, you need a lot of goods to supply. You need a lot of product to tell people, man, I have this product to come and buy from me. I have this product to come and buy from me. Then when you're able to supply those commodities, get your get get it get the return in either in naira or in other currencies, then at the end of the day you balance your sheet. You have been able to pay your house rent, pay your shop rent, do all those stuff, and the goods still remain. Then you still have a little savings of maybe two hundred or three hundred thousand naira for that year. That's what moves you forward, and that's what Obi is telling you in a simple term. But you don't play it. Because maybe you can speak more grammar than him. Even though if I know, even if I don't know, uh, you have you are more eloquent than him. You don't play it. It's a simple. It's as simple as that. So your supply is what boosts your economy. Look at our budget. You borrow too much to sustain your budget in a year. You borrow a lot of money when you have a lot of things to do. Uh, I wish I wish one day you can bring this guy Obi Orara, somebody uh, maker Obi Orara from Imo State. You can bring him on this platform to teach you economy, practical economy. When you listen to that guy, you know you ha you didn't go to school. Mm. Is he a big enough name? I, I think I'll be bringing Arabambi back on Sunday. Is Obi Ora, Is he a big enough name? I only it's want a very big, big name. Now. Yeah. yeah, it's a very big name. You can look for him. You always appear on Arise TV. Bring him here to teach you economy. Especially people that come here to claim that they know economy. He will teach you practical economy. He will teach somebody will like, like, like Kulata economy. Like Kulata, is that Kulata will know that economy, economy is not by, by all this uh, uh, spreading the grammar, grammar, this, uh, grammar, uh, yeah. grammar and all this stuff. He will teach economy. Make the country. So, 
correct economy. No be grammar economy. No be grammar economy. You teach should correct economy. Grammar economy. We need to talk. The guy is using that. We are listening to that. We teach money in the bank. Money in the bank economy. Not money on paper. Not money on paper. Money in the bank. One man. Yes. One man. Just just a minute. I I wish I wish you would bring. He's talking about um. Nameko Oberiri. I wish you would bring him here someday. I don't know. I don't have his contact. You know, I yes, mean, send, send, send me his name, then, and then I'll see if I have somebody that can reach oh, okay, him. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 won't, I, I won't be able to spell his name, but if you, I, I, I'll see if I, I know somebody in the East that knows a lot of people. So, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. I, I, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will text you the name on uh, in the private chat. So, but he's a, he's a, he's a good one, you know um so, you know sometimes you know we you might listen to it I, like i talk later if you listen to it then you might learn something you know um uh, english is no, not we, learn every, we learn every time every time from it can I, don't worry yeah, it's yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, yeah. english is not our first language so his baby might not be right but uh, if you look at what he's saying go to the nitty-gritty of what he is saying it's just a fact right um uh, i think we'd be so confused in nigeria about you know Pepper economics, uh, which is also good, but uh, in practical terms, one man, you know, if what you're doing up there is not affecting those down there, then it means that there's something, something is not right. Somebody is telling a lie at some point, and um, I would, I, I would have thought, I would have thought that uh, with the progress that we are seeing, we're going to see in the prices of commodity, you know, and which we are not seeing, and it just gets to show you that. Um, you can't float your daira uh, when you don't have the means to sustain it. Thank you. I can I go ahead? All oh, right, back to you, can I? So, can uh, I thank you. Do something. Yeah. Uh, if if the person you are talking about is uh, Kingsley Obiora, is that the person? It's not Kingsley Obiora. No, so it's not Doctor Kingsley. Nah, uh, uh, Meka Obiora, Obiora, no, it's not Kingsley Obiora. Oh, Meka okay. somebody. All right. He's a very popular guy. I don't know why. What does the kind of people I want one man to bring here? Yeah, uh, no, I follow him on Facebook. I follow him on Facebook. So the guy is this, this guy. One man, you must look for that guy. He's from Imo State. He will tell you what the economy is all about. I thought okay. you said. Uh, yeah. okay. If yeah. he's an economist, then he's an economist. And uh, nobody will claim superior uh, knowledge to any of his to his own knowledge so you, you understand what i'm saying what i'm saying is if you are not an economy you are not an economist economy economy is not something economy is something that is you study then you go outside to practicalize if you don't study it you don't know it the you guy the guy is a practical economy not only that he speak economy yes the guy, so is, that is the guy is a practical guy he's living he's living he's living it is it is it is it one of those you buy it at 10 naira and add one naira on top is that what he's going to come and tell us i don't know and then you call it a profit you buy 10 naira and one naira you call it a profit i, I don't that... know but if it, it's just like one man eh one man i listen to analysis the other day go and check ghana today go and check how much they're making in cocoa today it has increased. The price of cocoa has increased in the market, and Ghana is cashing out. You are here speaking, uh, talking to a guy. Nigeria, you are very foul. I was just listening to the analysis the other day. Ghana is doing well in cocoa. The other day, you are laughing at them. Today, they are doing well in cocoa. Just cocoa. Just well, cocoa alone. That's all true. As at February this year, the Ghana output <coughs> still fall, fall by 40% below target. Where do you get your own report? I I, I, I got it from. I I, I, I got it from. 40, as of February, their target fell forty percent below what they used used to produce. Well, well, with the with the last analysis, with the last analysis that I saw from that guy, what's the name that I used to do economy in um, in our eyes? Uh, I don't know that guy that has shine shine mouth. Uh, Rotus, is it Rotus? Rotus? Yeah. Yes, Rotus. Ghana is doing well in Congo. I'll look recently. for it and post. And so maybe you can go and look for it. So, but uh, when we talk about, these are the pe people that don't have what we have, and that is my greatest annoyance. They don't have what we have. We have, uh, I, I think there is a state in Southwest that can even produce this cocoa and use it to make this country better. 
on those states. Yeah, one state. Yeah. And when you combine these two states, I don't think they are, they are bigger than Ghana in every aspect. But uh, you check our poverty rate today. Are we supposed to be poor? That's the question you ask yourself. It's about that eight point something percent. Our inflation, our inflation is about uh, about that two percent or so. Inflation rate. We have more people living in poverty, actual poverty. We have about one last year before Buhari handed over, it's about one to three million. It, the number has increased. So when you check it, are we supposed to be there compared to country like, like Ghana, like uh, most of that country? We're not supposed to be there because we have all it takes. But propaganda is killing us in this country. We are not united. We don't make. We don't, we don't want to make use of our resources. The oil, even the diaspora remittance is bigger than the the money we make. I don't maybe similar or something, but almost the money we make in oil. So what are we doing? And that is why when we talk about supply, you people think it's because it's an alaba economy. It's not an alaba economy. Is for you to make use of your resources. Show your productivity to the world. Identify two products that the world will know you for. Even your your the oil you you export is raw. Oh, so sorry, sorry, raw. So, 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 sorry. Can I give me one micro moment? Um, uh, uh, Ganyu, on, on mute for a moment. Uh, uh, Ganyu, Ganyu, Ganyu. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, what happened the last time you were on? I was listening in the background. Uh, some lady came on and you were calling out Moali because she didn't agree with your politics. No, what, no, no, why, no. Why, 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 why did you do that? Because it was the first person, she was the first person to call me Agbero. You should go and listen to it. Uh, uh, no, I was listening. Please, please. Yeah, hold, she hold called on. Me. Why should no, she no, don't hold on. Don't let that repeat. Uh, uh, all right. That, that's not yeah, at all. I, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't access the studio. I, I would have, and I was the one that removed you on that day. Please don't let that repeat. Uh, you she could see she was, she, she was nervous. Uh, she was coming on for the first time. Uh, and then she's having yeah. to hear. Please don't, don't let that repeat again. Uh, back to you, Kenne. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, one man. So what I'm saying is this. It's not that... Uh, I'm, news. That Coco news. Can you see it? Uh, uh, which month is price. this? Which month? Which month is this? It's just three days ago. Three days ago. Okay. That's so the date right there. Hey. Let me finish. Uh, what I'm saying is this: uh, we we in Nigeria here we have more to do, and that is why we are tackling our government. What we need for production today is not working for us. Uh, electricity even the gas price, all those stuff. It's not working for us. These things are what you need to put in place for your to, to grow your manufacture, your, your, at least your, your physical side of all these policies you are making. But because we cannot do that, you only continue to make policies, the CBN governor continue to. I'm not saying that the CBN governor is trying his best. He's a, he's a petrol, do I see him? He's doing his best. But the country itself is not doing enough to help those monetary policies in, in the physical side of it. It's very low. I, I, I said starting from the days of PDP, and I'll continue to make that point. 19,000 Naira minimum wage can get you a bag of rice, a bag of uh, uh, five liters of oil, either granite oil or or palm oil and the this indomies you are talking about you can get it like three cartons added to it restock your your food stock and all those days you know but today because of the purchasing power is very low the that one thousand naira minimum wage cannot give you a quarter cannot get you a quarter bag of rice talk more of talk more of uh, adding it indomie you you know you know you, you know that that sort of narrative 
you know you are actually setting the bar very low for Tinubu uh, because uh, and we hear this often that oh uh, uh, the wages cannot buy this the wages cannot buy that so when he when he, when he scales that particular hurdle uh, it'll be very difficult for you to say anything else uh I think you should be setting the bar higher than no, that. I have to set it for him. I have to set it for him because it's not too far. We, we it's not too far. We experience it now. So to tell you where APC has taken us back. So I will set that. I will set that standard for him because that's what that's that is what will improve the life of the common man, especially the workers. That's what will improve their life. If you cannot, if you cannot bring it low, then increase their wages, increase the minimum wage. So that they, are they can meet up with the purchasing power of the country. You understand? Increase their wages maybe to about one fifty thousand naira or two hundred thousand naira or there. But one, I think at, at least one fifty thousand is uh, is is okay. At least they can get a bag of rice for seventy seven thousand naira. At least get uh, oil for eleven thousand naira. This and all those stuff. Then they can go to the bank and take a loan and say I want to finance maybe a project of maybe four rooms and parlor and have hope of paying it back. That's what happened during the PDP a few years ago. So, but with the current situation, you cannot do such thing. You, you can't commit suicide. You understand? So, the only thing they do is to borrow money to feed themselves, the workers. If they manage to borrow money to feed themselves, that's okay for them. The, with the current situation, we find ourselves in this country. But I'm just trying to tell you what it used to be when APC took over government. And the, the propaganda that you guys are putting out there today in order to make it look good. To tell you, it ne it's not good at all. It's not good at all. So you have to do a lot of work. Once the purchasing power of the people is has increased and they're able to meet up with their daily demands, then things are getting better. You cannot be reading the economy without with the life of the people going down every day by day. That's not economy. If I do a business today and make a profit of five thousand naira, and I go to the and I go to the market, I buy stuff of maybe I spend like three thousand naira of it a day or four thousand naira of it a day, and be able to have one thousand naira savings. I'm 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 doing good. That's what the economy is. You understand? It's not it's not making a profit of five thousand naira. Then go and borrow like three thousand naira to support it to be able to make to be able to make a living for that day. And you come here and you say the economy is doing well. Oh, oh, oh all right. Start to bring so, it to me. Can I, so, yeah. so one man, APC has a lot. I'm not calling Tinubu. I'm calling APC. From where they started. It's not Tinubu. Tinubu is an APC. Obeni is an APC. All of you supporting them is an APC. So I'm calling I'm on APC. APC. Okay, I've never I don't know for APC you. I, I don't know for you, but everybody supporting I APC is an APC. I don't follow so APC. you will you have to be realistic to the situation of the country in terms of economy and they tell the government to do the right thing so that the life of the people will improve. That's the reality. And if that is done, I will come out here and embrace Tinubu. If he cannot do it by reducing the, the dollar also, let him do it by increasing the wage to match up with the demand of the people. If he, if he can do that, but today I know it's not possible because even the, gov the governors are already, are already, uh, they are already speaking against it. So how do you want me to believe them? So we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of mountain to climb to lift up this nation for where it is but ob is not the problem but if you think ob is your problem then you don't know where apc has taken us back to. one man that's all i have for now oh, oh, oh all right brilliant e -e excellent so, so stay with us i can i was going to go to richard but i think he dropped so let's go then to uh let's go to man of prestige uh hear from the dulcet tones of the mighty man himself prestige you're up next Prestige. Can anyone hear me? Prestige. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you one more, but maybe oh, 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 oh. not there with the phone. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, oh, okay. You take the floor, then, Ajande Koko. And um, 
co come into the conversation from whichever entry point. I'm not sure if um, I, I'm not I, I'm not quite sure if you followed the uh, the um, OB interaction with his uh, with his. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to call call them or his uh, followers. Let's call them followers. I don't know if you That's followed that interaction. Oh, one more, you call me. I, I did call you. Yes, I I, I was saying I that the floor is yours. Uh, oh, I can go ahead. Oh, I, I uh, don't know. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Come after Koko because we waited and then he had to step yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, that sounds uh, good. Go ahead, Ajale Koko. Uh, all right, Ajale Koko. So, so, so ma, to ma, the conversation. Ma, no, where, where are you? Oh, it's not. Look at his phone. I don't know. It's kind of phone. It, California. You cannot. You cannot even use a good phone, or uh, it doesn't even have. Uh, Ajale, phone, Ajale, 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 eh? Ajale, leave, leave me alone, okay? Look, look at yeah. this um, uh, Democrat uh, state. Look just, at. Uh, just yeah, leave me alone, okay? Even... <laughs> I, I think it went. It went. It went, it went to get Agbado from the fridge. Agbado. Uh, is it yeah, Agbado? Agbado. Agbado. Okay. Or, or do you want to go? I can yield for you if you're ready to speak. What did you say? Are you ready to speak? I can yield. Yeah, I'm ready. No, I'm not going to stay long anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 all right. Then. Ca ca carry on. Okay. Thank you, one man. Yeah. Let me start with your B interview today. I, like I said, I listened to the B interview in and out. Um, so it's not that I, I gather everything, but I was able, you know, I can pretty much summarize what he said. You know, it was a good interview, but. He looked very, very tired, you know. So everything he said, of course, you know, speaking to the obedience and everything. So, you know, he had to play to that. Um, do, do, do you know that he was in hospital during that uh, interaction? Oh, he was? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know, but he looked tired. You shouldn't have, you know. Are you, are you, are you sure you're just making that up? No, no, no. I, 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 I am sure he was in hospital during that interaction. Why would he be in the I, 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 Well, at least that's what he has been telling us. That's the that's the imagery that he has been putting out that he was in hospital. <laughs> okay, well, mom. But anyway, he sounds very tired because he was laboring, you know, in some of his narrative. But I can understand that. But at least um, he has he has the platitude to come on the platform, which is yeah. good. Yeah. Um. I think my main. If I have had the opportunity to ask him a question, which some people ask him about the leadership, about the crisis going on, you know, why, you know, I, 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 I mean, everything he said, you know, I mean, I agree with most so, of what so, so, said, so, sorry, sorry, Prestige, uh, can, can you see what's on the screen? So, so that was a be during the, that, that's the image he put out that uh, he was, uh, he was on drips as he was speaking to, to his uh, followers. Uh, but carry on. Oh, okay. I, I'm just speaking from my phone. I see, but it wasn't clear. Okay. But anyway, yeah, um, the only one, um, the only place I have an issue with him when, you know, when he was asked the question about the crisis, what's going on, whether, you know, with Aburi and everything right now, he didn't, he didn't give me a very, con you know, convincing answer in that, you know, so that was my only problem because the answer he gave is that everything will be coming out in due course for the next four hours, you know, which is like in about three months or something like that, you know, but um, my question that I expected him to come out, you know, come out and tell, you know, Tell us, you know, just tell Nigerians, the obedience and people who, su who support him, you know, about how to handle whether it's going to still remain in Labour Party and what's going on. I know Abura has not been convicted. Everything is alleged right now. But if I have to put my, my two cents together, I just feel like that man is guilty, you know, for whatever he's doing and everything. But if you, you know, because um, that Labour Party right now, it doesn't seem to be a, a good party because, you know, it's just a house for the... Uh, for the obedience that's what that's what i think you know because without obedience it, he's on his way out so because i, I uh, wasn't pleased in that aspect of the response you know I, I don't know if he's trying to respect because that was that was the word he used so i'm i, I i'm i'm not going to repeat everything that you know that I, I think everybody a lot of people listen to that in listen to the question but that particular one no i'm not i'm i'm not in agreement with that you know should have just come out on the public and tell us about the situation, how it's going to, you know, rescue the, uh, if he's want to the rescue Labour Party, if he wants to do it. But he decided to postpone it and say, you know, everything will be coming out. Prestige, Prestige so, can, I, can, I, can I say something, please? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I think uh, if you had him clear, or if you understand the be very well, he's trying to organize his base, which is the obedient. And uh, he doesn't have much power for this uh, Labour Party 
shenanigans or anything. So no, I, I understood that. He, he, he wants to. He wants to like what he said in 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 the next few months that he will be meeting them. He needs he need to be there to have a structure, and he has put it out there so that they should make a plan on building that structure or what. So when next he will be meeting them, he wants to know where they stop and how how they started and where they stop and no things to be put in place and then but is he going to come out and problem. give us give you know give give um, give his opinion yes. and tell us what go, yes he will come out he will come out to give it yeah he, 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 he i'm giving it to them that you have yeah he will have a meeting with them but not on twitter on ground meeting on how the structure will be so that is the task that he has given the obedience but do, doesn't so, the obedience need to know where their leaders stand where i stand with this you know nonsense? no no no, he he made it clear that he did not stand with it, because they he when he visited the when they came to him for that convention, he told them to do proper consultation, meeting the walls, everybody, the senators, everybody. He told them to do proper convention, and they, when he travelled, he travelled for him to come back. They have put in a date for the convention in Abia State. Then he now have to meet Alessoti. Alessoti, uh, now maybe they have some issue. Alessoti didn't, at the end of his meeting, Alessoti didn't accept that convention. Then they now have to move it to an Okay, if you're going to say yeah, Alessoti didn't accept that convention, yeah, why Alessoti did didn't Alessoti accept send his deputy and some other, uh, you know, uh, Anambara, I mean, Abia. I, I, that, one, that one, they didn't ask him, but for him, he said, he made it clear that the reason that he's not in that convention is because no, no, no. It was you, you already said that again. I'm asking you because you're in a platform with them, you narrate with them. I'm talking about LS OT, which is the, probably the second biggest person in you know um, in Labour Party. I mean, just from you know from the public point of view, not necessarily from the party standard. I don't know if, if, if that, but I'm just you know saying, what uh, what uh, what level deputy what? and some of your other paratrusts. It means that you are supporting. I don't. I, but that I didn't. I didn't get that because nobody asked him about that. But uh, Lesoti personally is not present, and him and many senators are not present because uh, for me, Labour Party did a very, a very bad one in that convention. So it's, it's just a quest for power. I, I don't know what Abre will gain by retaining the chairmanship of that party. When somebody like me will want that chairmanship to go to the north for balancing oh, sake. definitely you need to go oh, to the north. But I don't know. If, if so, but OB, be, you know, I mean. yeah, OB, OB himself has made it clear that he's not part of that convention. So he's building, what I see is that he's building the obedience to form a structure. Maybe in the next future, they might choose a political party for him, but he still wonder he, he, the obedience is the structure he's using for now. And he has given that instruction. Maybe well, I hope so, but for people. now, I, I will just say it purely, you know, I'm, I mean, I support to be. But he still gives confidence that he still he still gives us confidence that they. Yes, he still gave us he still gave us confidence, still gave us confidence that they. He still he still gave us confidence that something is still ongoing. Some meeting is still ongoing. Maybe, at the end of the day, let's see what will come out of it in Labour Party, because that convention is even with INEC is not accepted. So maybe they will dissolve it and do another one. You might see it. Okay. Oh, 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 That's all, oh, I have. all right, back to you. What other topic we, we we're talking about? Because I've not I've not been following until I joined. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about the coastal railway that um is now ongoing. It's not even in the pipelines anymore. It's now ongoing that will run from Calabar all the way through. So so uh, what are you making of that? Um. That, okay, I've, that's not, I've all... not really read anything into that. It's supposed to be running from Calabar the way to Lagos. I mean, what still, what, yes. what state is this supposed to go through? I don't know. It, it, it's meant to cover nine states, uh, and you can see uh, the images you are seeing on your screen now is already work starting, and they are building it in concrete. Concrete being used in the seven hundred kilometer Lagos Calabar coastal highway construction. So, 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 I, I, I mean, speak and do is what we're looking at now. Speak and do. So, when, so, when, so did, when did this project start? Knowing Nigeria, I, 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 we did, we didn't, I, I, oh, I think it started in the last two weeks. It was signed off within the month and they kicked it off immediately. I, I think it probably wants to use it to campaign in uh, 2027. Okay, that you know that that's a good development in that in that in that aspect of infrastructure, but you know, um. 
I mean, when something is when something is good, we need to commend it. But nothing has happened yet, so it's still in the progress. So if it is when it's under, we're halfway or you know it complete, then you know we can say you know job accomplished. So yeah, I mean the photo the photo up right now so far looks good, but I, I am until I see it actually like everything in Nigeria until actually implemented and done and dust, then I will say something has been accomplished because we have that tendency to start something and not completing and leaving it there for 10 20 years you know so but we see what you know and we see what happened in that regard you know so the naira aspect of it where did you get naira appreciate to one to to 1280 yes this in oh this is in the parallel market okay because the person that yeah. I, the person that i am um, the, the person that collected money today they send it for about i think she said about 14, 14, 14, 15 or something like that. I, I think they graduated you. Uh, let me show you with the Naira in real time. So this is remitly. This is remitly in real time. So that's the dollar right there. And that's how much they're changing it for the Naira. 1,299. Well, it, ha it has been, it has been appreciating, you know, it has been appreciate, you know, appreciating since last week, you know, how long you've been going on, maybe about two weeks right now. It has been appreciating. Hope you know. I mean, it's going, it's going to. But I hope that can be, you know, that can be parallel to other aspect of Nigeria economy. But so far, I've not seen it. Just a baby step, you know, that is going on. You know, so everything is pretty much remain the same thing. Or some of them increasing. So, um, we see what happens. All I, all I'm going to do is hope I'm not just going to be here just to criticize. If this is, if this is going to go in the right direction. You know, we commend it, but for now, people are still suffering in Nigeria. So let's not equivocate that because we're, you know, we are here. You know, I mean, the Kenya is on the ground, and I, and I believe most of what the Kenya said because I, the, from my own opinion, now strictly my own opinion, he's not just somebody that come here to castigate or exaggerate or whatever. You know, that's the way I see the way he narrates something. So I mean, everybody has their opinion, but in my own viewpoint, you know, he's on the ground. So he's like our. Our investigating journalist on the ground, and he's very knowledgeable, you know. Like he said, it's not about speaking big English and everything, but even everybody can speak, anybody can speak in English, good English, you know, if you understand it. But, you know, a Kenya is very rare, in my own opinion. But oh, it's a oh, step oh. in the right direction in that regard. Uh, do, do, do you actually want the economy to recover? You know, there's a sense that people want the, uh, the, uh, for for reasons of partisan politics, they want the country to fail, uh, because yeah, then that would be yeah, a campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, definitely, there's some people that want it. I mean, that's that, I mean, you can't control that. Of course, I want the economy. You know, I I want the economy to be good. I'm a Nigerian. I'm not only particular about that. I want the country to you know to improve. I mean, I'm proud of Nigeria. I'm gonna I want us to have the you know a stable economy. You know, very stable. You know. I mean, so I can be proud of Nigeria, and it's going to help us. You know, we have families in Nigeria. I mean, we do go to Nigeria in one month. So who doesn't want Nigeria to improve? We want a better Nigeria, but we can stay here. You know, we have we have to we have to speak and criticize where we don't see where we don't see it feasible. I mean, something good is coming, then we have to talk about it. Yeah, I definitely want the economy, you know, to stop. But definitely, we need to criticize the government. We are, you know not the people because the people has nothing to do with this you know where we see it feasible we definitely need to you know criticize yeah what oh, 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 all right brilliant uh, uh you know there, there's a lot of pressure now uh with this naira strengthening there's a lot of pressure now for that to reflect uh in uh in everyday purchase that nigerians are uh uh so this headline um prestige naira dollar rate northern group urge businesses to slash prices so we are now seeing we are now in the realms of uh, excessive profiteering from our uh, from the business space uh, so they they blame the uh, the rising cost of our goods on the dollar so now that the naira is strengthening against the dollar why are we not seeing a commensurate uh, reduction in prices uh prestige um maybe it's gonna take time you know for for the, for for it to come straight with the with, with the economy i mean it's gonna it's gonna take some time but the bottom line we need to start supplying you know the power of, we need to start producing something you know to measure up to that level but regardless of what we have and if we don't if we don't produce that's gonna be that's gonna be a problem 
So that's where the security issue needs to come in. They have to do whatever it takes to secure that country because that has a lot in investment wise, you know, agriculture and something like that. People are not farming anymore. So it's going to take it a long time. So that's why I said, you know, I, I think I said that two or three months ago. For now, I have not seen it. Did you drop? Hello? Uh, uh, did we lose prestige? This term is not yeah, so it's, it's, it's all this cheap American uh, network, isn't it? No, really? it's not it's, America, it's... just called California. Eh? California. California is a... Uh, we a have better connection it's from Alaba. Can it's it, a eh? country on its own within America. Just say, it's, it's, it's the just... Chinese phone that uh, <laughs> a Prestige is using. Eh? Should we do a GoFundMe to get pre Prestige and iPhone? Uh, let's start a GoFundMe to get Prestige and iPhone. Eh? Is I can I, can I should send him one phone now? Yes. Are you there? Uh, look at that. Is he back? Okay. After all, he has no, pressed no, Ekene no, today. No, Ekene no, should no. just send him one, one, one phone. Yes, so Ekene, we have put that wallet. Eh? Let me take over. Oh, 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 you know, me and Abala say they use now. Yeah, let me. Let Abala, me. Abala, Abala take that they use. But your own parents are not the jack like uh, one of our it? Your own clear. I, I mean, you when you do Nigeria, see how they speak, you they talk with the hear. You you, 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 you don't you don't switch yeah. to five G. You know Nigeria is now on five G. Are you on five G now, Ekene? You don't switch. Now four G. You there? I'm on four G. I, I'm not. I'm not upgraded. Uh, I can I beg make the same phone to your brother in uh, California. Make you call him. He is. <laughs> Is it is service there? You get that? Yeah, but that is, it's not only him. Like, you don't you don't listen to Bishop. Bishop, you hardly hear him. All these are broad people. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, not the abroad people. It's the Americans. It's the Americans. Well, you know that, is, is, that that third world country. That third world country. And I'm uh, not gonna leave us alone, eh? And I'm not gonna leave us alone. Wait, Papa, Papa, you're not me, sir. The only time, the only time. The only time we have a network issue that vest me was that time that Delhi wanted to come in. Oh boy, I vest that deal. You know, I have to take the blame. You know, because um, if PA actually sent me a note to say, look, do you want to cancel this thing? Uh, do you want to postpone it? Um, uh, 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 and, and, and I said, uh, I was so desperate to have him on. I said, no, let's push it through. But but now, if you had said postpone it, then it will still be owing us. But now he has fulfilled his uh his thing, uh, so so now the the blame is on me. Uh, let me let me show you this. Uh, uh let me show you this. Um, wait, oh, mama. Yeah. So in the use, he get PA. No, he get PA now. In the PA, they organize. So oh, he says he says I, I wish to bring to your attention the major dis the internet disruption. Which has been experienced nationwide yesterday. This might make streaming difficult and even impossible tonight. I just remember that you might not be aware of this. I understand that Mr. Farouk Timi, uh, Mr. Farouk Timi's feature on your program has been publicized. However, this incident is out of our control, and we apologize. In light of this, would you like to reschedule, or how would you like to proceed? And then she then sent me this notice from the. Uh, from the um, uh, from the Nigerian Communication Commission that says uh, on the sea cable, so she she gave me the window to 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 change it. So so that's why that's why I'm pushing back not to blame him. Uh, you know because if I postponed it, you know, but I advertised it so much, I didn't want to look silly to say you know. But I, now I look silly. But you there it is. You don't talk about whether Nigeria now. When is the yeah. tell you the problem? Yeah. You know they believe you know, now. <laughs> so if 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 the even get a PA, then why 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 is he now showing everywhere that he's, he's a victim of Nigeria? He's a bourgeoisie now, one of the elite. Yeah, he's a bourgeoisie. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm using PA. I'm not even the president or governor. He say a victim of Nigeria. I know the obedience believe. Are they are they not in Nigeria? Are they not going through the pains and suffering too? Which pain and suffering, and suffering. Yeah, yeah. Baba? Yeah. Yeah. We don't start. Okay. Is, he, is he a yeah, politician? Is he eating, is he eating from is it, the can you history? consider him as one of the people that is are suffering in Nigeria? Is anybody that lives in Nigeria that is suffering? Are going to you are going to 
He's in Nigeria. He eh? flew to US to go and deliver one paper and then return to Nigeria. So and now paper then go, then they use go US. Look, what I'm saying is that anybody an living in Nigeria, one of the Nigeria now is suffering. Whether, whether you are a Bojasi or no Bojasi, they are all going, going through the pains. Which pain? Which pain? Baba Jaloko is everybody that is suffering in Nigeria. Everybody is going. It's not through. It's not through. true. It's not true. Through what you are saying is not true. One, one way or the other. Like Even they are you, like, uh, are you uh, not uh, passing uh, through uh, one form of hardship in US? Oh, is that, is everything okay with you? You, you know, that, off, that's off, it, off, look, look off, I don't know what I don't know this pushback for. You guys cannot deny it. That, that what? That in Nigeria today. Mm. The situation in Nigeria concerning the economy, mm. security, and mm. other things that run a, 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 a country, you can't tell me that people are not feeling some heat one way or the other. So uh, and then, no Koko, uh, uh, hold on, Simba. Off the back of what you said, uh, Daniel Koko, I, I was going to leave this clip to later, but uh, let me play it now. Uh, they say all man, all animals are equal, some more equal than others. Not everybody will listen to this. Believe not to this, we will be container with more fluid. I don't know what's going on here. These Nigerian guys need to get stopped. I don't know what they're doing, but they are outspending everyone. I'm willing to launch an investigation. Yeah, with the Metropolitan Police, CIA, FBI, that these Nigerian guys need to be stopped. They keep on outspending the mandate for listening to things. I don't know what they're doing, bro. They just laugh. When you ever, whenever you ask a Nigerian what he does, he just starts laughing as well. Next Nigerian that laughs when I ask him what he does, I'm in the face. Because you're taking my things and you're laughing at me, basically, as well. I went to Paris, bro. The man ordered them bottles. Each bottle was like 800 euros. So between the mandem, we bought like three, four bottles. Between the mandem. I look up, there's someone ordering 20 of the same bottles. I'm thinking 20 bottles show. I said, who is this guy? I looked to my left, there's one Nigerian guy, not even a team. Not even a team, he's one Nigerian guy with 20 girls. And they all went back with him. And he didn't bring no one. How can he take back 20 girls? One guy. These Nigerians are too powerful, fam. They need to be stopped. I'm walking past Harris the other day, I see a guy, a Nigerian guy, driving a Ferrari. I said, bro, what do you do? He just started laughing and drove off. The guy was 17. Why is a 17 year old Nigerian driving a Ferrari, bro? What is going on here that I don't know? Nah, my mother's, we need to launch an investigation, bro. I wanted to help out because these guys need to go down. I see them the other day as well. I see one night. So, Adan Lekoko, the people that are balling, they are balling, no? Uh, don't worry. Uh, the bourgeoisie, they are balling internationally. The, the, those ones that are driving, uh, it's just 17, driving a uh, uh, Ferrari. Those are the children of uh, your politician right there. Also. Let me tell you this. But, but, the but, kind but, of but, life, let me tell you, let me tell you this. The way we, in Nigeria, you, you are there, you are washing plates, you are washing your plates. In Nigeria, people can have drivers. You can see the way um, 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 uh, the, uh, what, uh, our lawyer here, um, Ogbeni, was amazed when he heard that uh, uh, Paroti has a PA. The kind of house that people live, the kind of luxury that they have, they have PA, they have a, a gate man, they have a house gear, they have a wash, wash amount, they have everything. You, you understand that they can afford in that country. You cannot have that kind of luxury, even with you that are living in the U.S. You, 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 I don't know. I think that maybe yeah. if you are, you are living in Euphoria that because you are in U.S., you are in the yeah. best country. Or I don't know why the way people think that people yeah. in Nigeria oh, are just hold on, hold on right there. Yeah. You see, yeah. so, so, yeah. sometimes. About that, like, Koku. Sorry. Yes. Do you okay. know where the river to me office is? It's in Lekki Phase One. So 
And then, he's and the, then what and this is the guy that will tell us that Nigeria can never work. Hey, I'm waiting for he you. Never to said that Nigeria me. can I'm never work. Patiently what he's saying is that the direction that the people elite. are it's taking it's Nigeria, Nigeria, the direction they they they, they, they are taking Nigeria, Nigeria don't stay in to work. Look, this guy. He's not a victim. Oh, this Nigeria. guy is a retired lawyer. Hold on, what Benny? Which retirement? What was his age? That is retiring he, from parties. I think it's around sixty. I think it's. I'm not sure if he's sixty yet, though. I think he'll be in his late fifties. Because he, he doesn't, he does You know, the kind of look, the kind of angry look he used to wear on his face is making him to look older than his age. Look, let me tell it, you. It's guy, that guy is just full of anger. And when, whenever you are hungry, you get old easily. Look, every Nigerian That's should be angry. Every Nigerian should be angry at the situation in Nigeria. If you are not angry, it is better. Me, I, I, you are, I came you here. I have a question are, for the economies of the platform stealing, this morning. Stealing Nigeria. So, Nigerians, uh, but can uh, if you are still on the platform, I have a question for you. You are the economist, you are the best economist that we have now. I'm not the best, though. Okay. So, okay. I'm, not an, I'm not an economist, I'm a businessman, I'm a trader. Uh, See, because you uh, said you are, you are doing practical uh, economy now. Woman, can I? The, the, the last guy that I just spoke about, um, people living in Nigeria having, um, having. Having nanny, having driver, something like that. This is the problem with Nigeria, you know. Well, I mean, do you know who? Do you know who I am? I mean, who cares about that? Over here, we don't give it. We don't. We don't give. We we don't give a damn about all those kind of things. We may have they all that care, money or bro, whatever. Bro. Who said they don't care? I don't. I don't. Who that's the mentality you have in Nigeria. Like somebody have to serve you. you, I, you no, you you're gonna start. Don't have that money. That's why. I, no, that's why. I, mingle, that's why I start. I don't care. You, I don't care. It, it depends on people you mingle with in your America. If you mingle with the elites, the classy ones, the I'm not I'm not I'm not on that level. So it doesn't really matter to me. So you but I haven't I have enough to sustain them. myself. So, but I don't really I don't really uh, care about all those kind of things. That that doesn't do any any good to me. It you know. matters everywhere in the world. That's Elite you. You still have that. the same no, Nigerian no, no, about you. Nigerian no, 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 no. Oh, oh, hold on. Can you hold on? I thought you are in London. Uh, uh, th th there is no way that social hierarchy does not uh, uh, apply. I don't think there's a society that soci social hierarchy does not apply. That is it. But that... You can't look at him um, from the angle that because he have a, a secretary or how do you yeah. describe him, one man? Uh, appear, uh, eh? appear, but 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 let's not uh, let's not criticize our because we're still trying to get him on. Also, so he, no, he may be listening. Saying, this, this guy is a lawyer. He, I believe you. He, he have his own chamber. So why would he have a PA working for, with him? What is the big deal? But, 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 that, but Raja, you know, you know what baffles me. Even the I don't know, the, what, I don't know what, they, what they about. what they mean by he has he even have a PA. The lawyer that even collect our rent in Alaba have a PA. Uh -uh. What does that be a stand for? Okay, you just have a gear that is speaking of you. Whenever you want to reach him, I say lawyer. You can meet the gear. So it's like a secretary. <laughs> then I will know you. You're a billionaire. Your lawyer will also be a billionaire. Stop that. I don't, I don't be a billionaire. Yeah, I beg you. Know. SAN. SAN. Your lawyer is an SAN now. We think it's a billionaire. I don't get anything, though. I beg you. <laughs> but the only thing is, uh, the only thing is that uh, there is only reason why I will remain in this country. I believe in this country die uh, and uh, there is no way it's just like uh, what uh Alenonye said the other day and people were castigating him i believe in that stuff that he, I, I believe in that no amount of money that you make in abroad will attract me living abroad i can only visit if i have the opportunity maybe and what is money. the reason why you want to remain in Nigeria? Tell us now. Why? Why do you want uh, to? Uh, remain no, no, don't, don't, don't tell us because uh, then it would not throw the conversation out of sequence. Let Let Ajani Koko take the floor instead, uh, so so that we can get through the voices. It's, it's um. Matter of fact, back. No, but uh, well, uh, one man before you proceed to Ajani Koko, let me let me because um, we everybody has been seeing that Naira is falling. I mean, it's uh, appreciating, then it's not reflecting on the price of goods you cannot see an immediate 
fall in the price of goods. Let's say, for instance, you have bought a Kenne. That, that was why I said I wanted to direct the question to a Kenne. A Kenne, if you buy goods, with, maybe when Naira was around 1,700, will you immediately now bring the price down now that is 1,280? Tell me. Uh, it's easy to do because you sold you 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 raise the price of commodity to buy that uh, goods at the rate of one thousand seven something. Uh, mm. Maybe there will be some drop uh, because people and want to see question, this. Uh, the question is a yes or no. Will you bring? Will you? Uh, will you sell something that you buy at the rate of one thousand? I mean one thousand seven hundred at one thousand two eighty. What you what at one thousand seven hundred? It's possible mm. now. It's possible to to drop the price because there are some goods in your shop that you take that you use the opportunity to sell it off without counting the profit. I don't you understand, understand counting the profit. So you want to sell at loss? Yeah, there there are goods you buy, but maybe because those goods has been it, it has stayed too long in your shop, but because so of it's the not, it's not a matter. You are market. talking about price fall. I mean the appreciation of one within one to two weeks. Is that is that the way you bring the price down? No, mostly it 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 happens like that. Mostly when the price of goods <laughs> when the dollar drop in price. Hey, can I, that your response doesn't make sense? Okay, my. It doesn't no, make let sense. Me yeah, why are you? Let, no, me it's not let me finish. Let me finish. It happens most of the time. It happens most, most of the time. time. That when you when you when you when the price of dollar when the price of dollar. When the price of dollar drops, you drop the price Please, of your goods. Let me That's tell you, you as the way the be people run business is only when price appreciate. You understand? No, if it's not only when price appreciate. Up, wait, wait, hold on. What? 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 what, what happened? Dollar, if, let, let me tell oh, you. Oh, if, oh, I don't. I don't want us to be stuck here for too long. Uh, you don't really want to be stuck here. No man. No man. We don't want to. The Nigerians were always in a hurry. That's what I'm saying. If the thing, what we should be talking about now that this thing should be sustained, then we start seeing the effect maybe after a month or one or two months. That's when we start seeing the appreciable fall. But this one that we are talking about within one or two weeks is not is not is not achievable. That's what I'm trying to say. It's achievable. It's achievable. Yeah, it's achievable. Within no, within no, one no, week. What, 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 what are you are, you are a businessman, so I don't really think. I think you are the one that should be making simple well, well, arguments. Well, if you are hanging, uh, if you are hanging price, or if you are hanging, if you are hanging the price of your commodity, because you think that the dollar will not, will no, still no, go up. Or, no, oh, oh, okay, L let me put it to you this way: Can okay? you buy your stock at a, a thousand dollar, a thousand naira to the dollar, and then naira then falls to eight hundred to the dollar? So are you going to sell uh the are you going to price at that eight hundred to the dollar or that thousand to the dollar that you use to buy your stock? You sell you sell at the at the rate at the rate you have for that day. That's how you sell your goods. Hmm. You understand? No, not not so the rate why, you bought the, not, like not the rate that you bought the stock. Yeah. Any day you come any day you come to your shop, any day you come to your shop, the first thing you do is to check the rate. You understand? So you already know how much you are going to sell. Whether you are going to sustain your old price or you are going to you are going to increase it. That's how you do your business. Because normally, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You can, people can still speculate. You. I'm not saying that people cannot speculate. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you the business reality. Let me finish now. Let me finish. I'm telling you. Let me finish now. Hey, that's that's you can say whatever you want to say, but that's how you do business because mostly as a businessman, I want to reduce my price so that we get more customers. If I reduce my price today, if if my neighbor is selling for if my neighbor is selling for five naira, I sell for four naira fifty kobo, I will get more customers. So why should I hang my price? But so, uh, that is that that is oh, if it is visible oh, oh, oh. for you to sell at that no, price and that, is, that is to tell you oh, oh. that is to tell you that you sell by the rates you have for that day because once you sell you change or you yeah, send really, money you are really a good businessman continue oh, 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 oh. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, no, you, you have the floor prestige uh, so that yeah. we can get get to okay. the Let me, yeah. referring to a Kenya argument and Simbad, you know, I think I follow um uh, I'm 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 on the point of Simbad, you know, because it's Kenya what you just confessed right now, like when you bought it. So you, are you telling me you're just gonna sell at the going price at that particular time and then you're gonna come out at, at, at a loss? Is that gonna be a good business? No, you cannot come out at a loss. Once you sell, once you sell at the rates you have for that day, you are not going to lose. What happens is that what happens is that once you sell, you change your you change your money. Already you have an order. You don't keep your money, you change it or you send it either the, the next day or that day in the evening. You you change it or you send it. So okay. what happens is that if 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 the price is sustained, then you get more. If the price is sustained, you get more. So but if the reality is that I will want to reduce my price to gain customer, there is no need hanging my price. You know, Ekene, sorry, one man, for saying this. You are because you are, you are you are only talking about buying and selling. Okay, what about people that are dealing with production? They have they have bought their raw materials at a price. You understand, and they are using for production. Maybe they have a stock that can last them for two, three months. Can they do what you are talking about? No, the, the why it affects the productive as, aspect of it very well is that if, you know. Let me tell you, if you know, if you really know economy, you will not because what you are doing, your whole is just a micro thing. That uh, what you do is not micro, what they call it's economy. Not a micro. Now. It, it also applies to feed uh, even so, even, a, even a business. What what is hanging? Like, like what I told you. Food. Like what I know what I told you, Simba. What I told you. To me. Let me finish. Let me, to me. Yeah, let me. No, there is nothing like being stupid about that. Yeah. What I told you today. Do buy and sell me. Any stupid let me food let me tell you one more. Let me slow it down now. Slow so it down. That, that language was a bit robust. Uh, and it's not only. Uh, I think you understand as well. Ah, uh, but ah, uh, uh, no. Uh, um, uh, let's ah, uh, let, let let's move on from them. Maybe in the after hours we we revisit that. I, I I'm just keen no, to I get want to. I want I want to make a point to. I want to make a point to Simba. Oh, 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 I all right, make, make that point. And everybody, everybody borrows money. A lot of money. A lot of business people borrows money to do business. And the business of today, why the price is still going up, is not actually people waiting to know or maybe to know if they to sustain whether the dollar will be sustained or what. What is actually affecting the price of today is that even though my mayor area that is selling um, um, bottled water or minerals in the Alaba market goes to Lapo to collect maybe twenty thousand naira loan or thirty thousand naira loan. So he has to calculate the interest. The interest rate today is high. So you don't expect him just to reduce the price or reduce his profit just to please you, your policy. It's not only like that. That's high interest rate will be calculated. So you will not tell you, if I sell this thing like this, the, I will not be able to pay back my loan. I will eat my capital. So he has to calculate it. So what actually is sustaining the price today? It's not actually uh, the the. It's not actually people waiting to know whether they they, they will sustain it. No, it's people calculating their interest rates added to the goods they buy. That's what is that is why the price is still high. If not for the interest rate, the price will just come down. It's not as if the price has affected a lot of things. A lot of commodities, but there are ones it will not necessarily affect. There are things it's affected in a little way, not going back to normal what it used to be before, but little. There, there are little adjustments. If I find a way to adjust my price, I'll just do that. I'll just call my customer. I, I call my customer every day to tell them this thing that I'm selling for 1,500 naira, I'm selling it for 1,550 today, so that you will not go and call my neighbor. And my neighbor will sell 1,550 or 1,005 for you. I will now lose the customer. So I have to call him. The major ones that I have, I have to call them and say, please, this thing that I'm I sold for you, 1,700, that uh, yesterday, I'm selling for 1,006 today. You understand? I have to give him that confidence so that he will not go and call another person. A lot of them has many, many uh, numbers in the market. So they can go and call my neighbor. Like the one I battled, I battled one last week. I know what I did to gain him <clears> back. <throat> oh, 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 all right. No, oh, 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 that's oh, how it right. works. Oh, oh, all you right. Just to, just to do 
some things all those things. Oh, all right, oh, all right, uh, th thank you, Ken. So, so, so let's get to Ajale Koko. So, Ajale Koko, do you want to kick it off with uh, uh Kulata super chart? Uh, that seems to be the, the, the space to start. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, I think Ajale Koko, uh, oh, oh, yeah, you're, you're there. Eh? Phone, I'll be no, no, <laughs> I, I was okay, muted, okay. I didn't know that I was and I was reading the hour. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is California, a man of prestige, uh, uh, phone that is having a problem, not mine. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, greetings to our listeners around the world. Click on the like button, share and subscribe if you haven't done so. Well, uh, let us um, uh, congratulate him for adding another year. And uh, we pray that uh, God will give him uh, long life uh, uh, with good health to continue doing a good job as the president and um, you know uh, you know all his efforts to get our economy back on, on track we have to pray that God will um, be on your side. Are you not going to sing happy birthday in the manner that Marilyn Monroe, Monroe did for JFK all those years ago? Do we, 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 your we best have Marilyn have Monroe. We have to pray, uh, eh? we have to pray <laughs> for God to give him good health, continue to give him good health, you know, and, um, you know, many years to come as well. So, and uh, from there, let's, let's, let's do it together. Happy birthday to you. you. Eh? Eh? Oh, oh, yeah, like it. Happy to birthday you. to you, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you, Mr. President. Inumbu. Happy birthday to you. Be with you. Many happy years. Many years in government. <laughs> oh, my dear. Mama, 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 is 95 now. We all know it's 95. Is it not 95? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Ancient of days. Uh, Ancient of days. Uh. So, well, uh, let's let's thank God for his life and uh, let's continue to pray for him for good health and uh, let's, you know, continue to pray that he's sincere with us and, um, you know, um, with his team uh to um i mean for them to um turn around the economy of the country uh particularly uh, in the area of security let's continue to pray for them to develop strategies that will work that will defeat the um insurgency the terrorism so that peace and tranquility will reign all over Nigeria. So uh, let me leave it there one month. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. So so the, the conversation now, it wraps around uh, Peter Obi's appearance on space uh, on our uh, eggs, which seems to be his go-to space now to speak to uh, the raw meat eaters. So Peter Obi made that appearance, uh, but he spoke a lot without actually saying anything because uh, I tracked it all the way through, but uh, uh, there was nothing significant to glean from there. But um, uh, what I did glean was that he he, he, he was not full throttle in endorsement of Julius Abure. So that tells you then that um, he, 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 he is ready to abandon that. And that, that places Julius Abure in an untenable position. But there was uh, one thing that he did say that struck me. He said his project is to build a new Nigeria, not to build a new Labour Party. So are we to read from that, that is at the exit door? You see, uh, one man, that statement that you are referring to is where OB, OB spoiled everything for himself today. That is where it destroyed 
that uh, um, uh, question and answer um, uh, session uh, that it did with that uh, plat platform. Every other thing, maybe people will have uh, overlooked it, but that statement, everybody that follow Obi and all Nigerians should be worried that what kind of politician is this? What kind of leadership does OP represent? Because if you are telling us that what really matter to you is the country, is the building of the country, and not to build the party, what platform do you want to use to get to the position of president that, you know, we give you that um, uh, opportunity to build the country. It's your party. So uh, are we trying to say that Paul, I mean, OB is... Abaja, Abaja, right for, if you look at his, his, his antecedent, uh, why, uh, why are you surprised? No, he came out open. I mean, you know, look. He has not been taking his, responsibility his, his for anything. But for him saying Koko. it from, him, from, from his mouth, saying it directly, explicitly, the way he said it, we should be worried. Simba, what are you trying to say? You, you're trying to interject. Hey, 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 let me tell you, if you look at him, at least you know his antecedent. That is how he has been behaving ever. Now, even you, another thing I noticed about Obi is that he's somebody that doesn't want to take responsibility for anything. You understand? Is it that he doesn't come out publicly or he goes behind doing his thing and you know most of the things that we have been accusing him of? So this one is, I don't know why people are so surprised. I, I don't expect anything better than that from him. And if you see, if you look at his moves so far, it's just a matter of time. Obi is going to leave, leave that party. And you can see what even his followers, his adherent followers are saying, even this morning, that uh, his concern is the obedient. It's not, it's not about the party. So maybe they have a plan now that they are nurturing to maybe no, no, no. The, 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 plan, the plan is quite clear, uh, Simba. Peter Obi is going to leave uh, Labour Party uh, um, uh, but, but before the end of next month, uh, and then he will go to the SDP, and then shortly after that, um, uh, El Rufai will leave the APC and join the LP LPC, and then they will uh, run a joint ticket against Tinubu in 2027. So that's the that that's the pathway that they've uh, that they're backed upon. Well, one man, Mabaja, if I may quote what I heard Obi say during that <laughs> interview, he said he will try to change them. That's about Labour Party. I'm quoting him now. Yes, he said yes. He will try to change them, but we will not die for them, or we will not die with them. Hmm. If we can't change them, we will leave them to do what they said, what we said to do. Exactly that way. He yes. said we will not die with them. Yes. And I wonder why you can't stick your neck and ensure that you sanitize your party, but all you're targeting is just the presidency. Do, 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 so, sorry, uh, Ajale Koko, do you remember during the uh, River State campaign and there was this lady that was the candidate of the uh, Labour Party and Peter Obi said frontally to Yemsin Wiki then that he was willing to trade that woman's ambition are for his support. Do you remember that? The so, woman, you didn't get what he what he said that then very well. He said he denied Labour Party having candidates in River State. That was what happened in Rivers. He denied them having candidates until that woman came and said, he, "I was on sick bed, and you are denying me as a candidate of this party." You know, if you don't stand for, and if you don't start for stand for something, you fall for. It's the flakiness, isn't it? It's the 
the, it, it, we're talking about backbone and, and we're talking about stickability. The, you, the, uh, have you heard? The, the, I think it's a new contemporaneous uh, uh, coinage stickability that you stay with it on, until you work it out. I, I don't think we've seen that yet with Pitobi. Look, one man, Ogbeni, for quoting what Obi said just now. You see, when I heard it, because I listened to some part of that this thing, I heard what you actually quoted now. I was shaking my head. What is this man saying? What is wrong with him? You cannot change them. If you try your best, if they cannot be ready to change, then you will leave them. And in addition to that, Ogbeni, if you remember, he quoted a, a biblical verse. Yes. A verse in the Bible. Yes. Where Jesus said that uh, if you try to preach to them and they don't want your peace, um, dust the, uh, the dust of your food and then leave the place and, and live with your peace. Ha! He quoted it. When I heard that, I said, what is what is going on with this man today? Is something going on with him today, or is he just coming out in a true form? In his true form for everybody to know. It is very bad completely. You see, those statements, some that a good journalist can write a lot of, they can write article on it and back it with, you know, many things that Obi have done in the past that are wrong to really picture to everybody what will be represent i don't know what got into him i don't know why he was talking like that and i don't want to believe that he is political naive he is not political naive but he's sending signal to the obedient i believe obedient too are worried about what is going on in Labour Party. Baba, and, can I come in? Can I come in? Okay. I don't think uh, Obi has made any wrong statement the, regarding how the obedient is reacting to Labour Party because with what happened in the last few days in the convention, a lot of obedient are not happy with Labour Party. And uh, they are already planning to move on because that convention was done in exclusion if you had the equation very well the guy asked that the one way obedient wanted to use that opportunity of that convention to integrate themselves into labor party which labor party denied them so now what is the way forward for them and knowing fully well that the support base of OB is bigger than Labour Party. The Obedient movement itself is bigger than Labour Party. Because uh, the Obedience itself, many of them are non partition A lot of them, some from PDP, from, from, some from APC. Some don't know even what is called party. Somebody like me is just recently that I joined Labour Party after the election. You understand, but the Labour Party, their convention says you cannot be involved if you have not do this and other, and the many obedient are not in order with that. So you don't expect to be to lose obedience and get Labour Party. So the description he's, he he gave to them, which I can, I can, there is not in obedience. You know, sorry. Uh, oh, the, the so-called obedient are just emergency politicians. Most of them are naive, even in politics. 
the devil yeah, meant most, about most, most of them are like wait, the wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. A, the Aburi that you people have been supporting because he gave a platform to your uh, principal, and everybody have been chanting and be praising him for doing that. Is the same thing that is working against you people now. Do you are you aware that he inserted a clause in the whatever baby's constitution or something of the convention that anybody who is not a member in the last two years cannot partake in that convention? Are you aware of that? I know. You understand? So I, I don't I, I you see, you know. If that men does follow them, there is nothing you know, like the problem that, let, let, wait, wait, let me, you are just wait, trying to bring your own knowledge. Sorry, hold on. I can I, uh, do, 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 do you understand what that means? What it did there, what, what it did there was to you, you know, because the obedience were championing to have a northerner uh, as the chairman of that party yes. so that so, so that the party can have a more nationalistic phase. Especially after after um, Shuinka accused them of being a regional party, so by inserting that clause, he has excluded all of the obedience from that convention in order that only his stalwarts, only his loyalists, uh, will be there to return him to power. And then after he was returned to power, he then threw that olive branch of giving Peter Obi an automatic. He, 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 and they and they somebody like uh, Reno Mokri tweeted that they they did they, they, and they coming out Obi coming out to say or uh, getting the position they gave to him making him an, an automatic presidential candidate in 2027. He's not in support of that. He's not in support of that. You cannot give me a uh, automatic ticket in 2027 without doing the proper thing. So what is wrong in what he did? But if you say that he did wrong, because in what he said today, he never said he didn't engage the Labour Party. He engaged them up until the last minute. He, he engaged the senators, he engaged the only governor we have, he engaged every stakeholders, both TUC and the NLC. I can and if you watch, <coughs> I can if you watch, yeah. Where did Peter will be rejected? Reject the uh, the automatic ticket they gave him. When not in this with, interview. With, his, with, the, with, the, with, with what he said, he's well convinced that he's not in line he, with that. He never he never categorically rejected that thing. You know. Well, he you never. can be waiting for when he will be categorically tell you, you that. But he tell you he was, he has already tell you that he's not in line with what Labour Party did in no, terms he of did, the convention. He reject, no. No, no, listen. So you listen. that I question listen. was not true. Was, if if I was given an opportunity, I would have uh, asked him that question directly. Yeah, you but can, but that but can I, you said they rejected it, and I think did. everybody believed you until yeah, his until, action, uh, his action and what he said. No, but he did not, not categorically reject it though, did he? He did not, he did not. Well, he did maybe not, you are the one that gave it. You are the one that gave it. You are the one to hang it on. When somebody is telling you that when somebody is telling you that the right convention should be done. That the right thing should be done. Everybody, I can I wait now? I, I was in that. I don't know you. I, I'm so sure as to, as to be there, you'll be in that meeting. I was also in that uh, meeting. Now uh, throughout, I watched it from A to Z. There was no way Peter will be categorically rejected. That that um, po uh, poisonous <coughs> type. Okay. What, okay. If that is a if that is a problem, if that is your problem. And his, and his if, world if that if if that no. is your problem then he did not reject it okay i'm not surprised but for me, that's, the, that's peter obi's way yeah but for me for me for me for me for me you you said he did not, you said he did not reject it but you say he's leaving the party at the same time i don't know the no. one you you believe in see what peter so uh, see, see let me let me let me let me give my let me okay. say what i want to say no, I like it. so you said he did not reject it and you say he's leaving the party also but for me, what he doing, he... what what he did, what he did, what he did, and what I saw today is to organize the obedient and the, want to form a structure with them, and that it, and that meeting, and you you can see at the end of it, even told them about the he used time to tell them about the insult they give to people, that they should refrain from it, and all those stuff, and make sure they they engage everybody and don't have quarrel among themselves.
So, but you don't see that aspect. You don't see that one. You, anytime you tell him that I he never cautioned his he never cautioned he never he never cautioned his followers. You didn't see when he cautioned them on the way they talk to okay, opposition okay. and others. Did I say here so, today that he did caution? Wait now. Wait so so uh, let me let me finish yeah, let, because you only you only like the one. Oh, but you only like the one that that, that favors you. You don't like the one that did not favor you. So the only thing I know and what we understand from he what he told us to do as an obedient is to form our own structure it's a movement not necessarily mean that he's dumping labor party if labor party gets his right tomorrow he's also said it there if labor party gets its right tomorrow we are following after all the nlc is not it's not in line with the convention the tuis is not in line with it the the main party stakeholders are not, are not in line with it even i neck you understand i mean self i'm not i cannot i cannot follow it that way i want the leadership from the north you, i just saw the what they organized there i was even ashamed of of myself being a member of labor party everything Igbo, 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 Igbo. I just one the uh, national secretary from the north and then i was not i was not happy and i cannot follow that process me personally so we have already have our what obedient is not trying to take over the party but obedient wants the right thing to be done leadership restructure it so that the things that accuse you for you not look like it in 2027 so how are we going to campaign with our with a let's say that 2023 was an emergency and bray was from the south ob is from the south also it's an emergency then we went along with it then now we have time to restructure ourselves for 2027 are we still going to give the same excuse no and being sincere about it, being sincere about it doesn't mean that we don't know what we are doing. You don't expect us to always fall in line with everything or or believe everything that Labour Party is doing. So that's what I see. So going forward, the obedient movement will have their own structure. And uh, we are going to form it according to the instruction of Obi for the 2027 election. Then if Labour Party gets it right, we use their vehicle again. That's how I see it. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Benny. You see, yes, OB shouldn't have made those statements. Those statements that he made showed completely that OB is not a lawyer party member. And that called to question him is leadership in that party a leader of the party a leader at his own no, start no no babaja 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 let's say what obi did not say <coughs> Obi confirmed that uh, 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 let's let, um let let uh, let uh, Ajane Kuko share that no, he will, he will, no he, will, he, will, uh, he gave me uh, i will just just to make a comment because it's not good to to put the wrong, the wrong narrative he didn't say that he's not a member of labor party and he's not he's not doing he said it that he's not doing anti-party because that is why in the beginning he declared his support for olumida Pata of candidate of edo state in labor party at the end of the conversation he also declared it again and they begged all of the obedience and the, everybody to support him as our candidate in edo state he made it clear it's just the crisis we are trying to address doesn't mean that if we have a candidate today we cannot support him he have already declared his his candidacy and they asked the obedience that say that they are obedient and not for labor party that before they do that they will give us a concrete reason why they shouldn't support olumida pata is that very difficult to understand I'm not so if he's doing anti-party or if he's not if he's not in line with the labor party why would he uh this the at least this is the the third time i'm seeing him declaring his support his support for olumida pata look i can i'm making reference to the statement in may concerning um i mean um um what did they say um a statement that uh, I 
uh, what I'm interested in. We will not it, die with them. Yes, yeah, what I'm interested in is Nigeria to make Nigeria to develop Nigeria, not and not party. to develop the party. And the second one is what Ogbeni just said now that I'm not ready to die with them. If they are not want to, if they don't want to listen, I will leave. And he quoted Bible where Jesus said, you "Go and talk to them. If you go and preach to them, if they are not listening to your preaching, wash your foot." Or what? How did he say? Does does uh, make sure you do you uh, dust your foot and leave with dust your, your foot and leave? I, I didn't I didn't hear this though. He said it. He said it no, as I heard it. I, I heard it. Don't know me. I leave. I, to I, I, this, uh, this is not the narrative. Oh, Benny, I got no, 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 no. no. I, I can I, I can I, Did you watch everything throughout? Did you? I I was there. Oh, I was respecting for my you are you go there, to you are not listening. You, you didn't listen. <laughs> he said all these things. Now. It's not uh, I mean your granny is saying it. I am ah, confirming it. Are you saying that we are making it up? This is the statement that will be uh, be made very, very bad. He called to questioning his leadership, he called to questioning his faithfulness to the party, he called to questioning his loyalty to the party. He's, well, showing well, 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 that, well, he's showing that he has an agenda. An agenda well, 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 with the uh, 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 can, I, can I let it roll for a little bit? Uh, 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 an Okari. agenda which is obedient that they can move out of that party anytime. And as a matter of fact, he, he make a statement that sounds like that. And I was shocked that he could make that statement. What he said was that it is not, okay, when he was talking about uh, the apartheid issue, he said we should, um, we should know that it is not all obedience that are member, members of the uh, Labour Party. Some are outside. Why some? are inside and he was saying the people inside he has told them that Akpata is the candidate of the obedient that they are supporting Akpata and he used that opportunity to call on them that they should support Abasha I mean Akpata but the he, 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 he failed to tell us the effort he is making to integrate those that are the obedient that are outside and the inside the party together for the interest of the party, for the development of the party. So if the leader of the obedient, who is obedient, is telling us that the, 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 the obedient structure have some of them within the party and some outside the party and it's not calling on them those outside the party to come and join so that they can help them together they can do it together to build that party that shows that he is is he is, uh, he is one leg in and one leg man he's playing one leg in and one leg out politics you understand what i'm saying and one leg in, one leg out. It means that wherever that favors him, that is where it's going to it's going to go. If inside favor him, he will stay there. If inside does not favor him, the leg, boom, the leg outside go go move. So he, 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 I, I, I was very very surprised that a politician at that leadership with that leadership status, a presidential candidate in the last presidential election, a man that his name spread across the world as a candidate of a party that is not known in presidential contest to a, 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 
a, a party that was giving serious fight in serious contention against the prominent party in Nigeria. And this man is making this kind of ridiculous. It's a ridiculous. That is what they call bad joy. He don't, it's he don't do bad joy for the whole world. Now, bad joy. I wish we can take this in. I, I, I mean, we can we, we be able to, to, to cut out this clip where this guy was making this statement and made all these statements that we are referring to and then play it over and over, over and over for people to listen. It is not good. It is not because I am I'm not an obedient. It's not because of that I'm talking like this. But I am talking, you know, like this because this man that the people, a lot of people place in, in, in high esteem as a person that can lead us as a potential president of this country, now speaking in this manner that the party does not matter to him, but Nigeria, what vehicle will take you, I mean that uh, Nigeria, what vehicle will take you to the position of presidency? Is it not the party? If Tinubu has dismantled, if Tinubu did not fight hard, if Tinubu failed to put structure on the ground in APC against everything that Buhari and his cabal did to frustrate him, the way they took his structure out from the leadership structure of the party, like what do you call this man, the um, uh, former Abdullah, 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 governor, no, okay, Oshomale. Oshomale, who was the chairman, so all the leadership in in that um um uh, what do you call the 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 and um, um the the ESCO or I mean what do they call them the National Executive Committee of the party you know all of them were sacked all the Tinumbu people that they thought are going to use their position to favor Tinumbu in the primary all of them were taken down. So, but Tinobu did not stop there. He keep on building, he keep on fighting, he keep on making connections, he keep on make, donating money. We are go to Bufai when there was a, um, 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 a, a fire, fire um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a fire outbreak in one of the largest markets. He go and give um, um, uh, uh, Bufai 50 million. He went to Kano when there was an incident. He gave them money. He continued to build. But this man is opening up building. He's complaining that the Babaja, party... Babaja, is, is he not building? Who? <laughs> Obi. Obi, what? Did, did you listen to his statement? He it's not about his statement. If, if he's, they he's, not, building, they are not he's building, building outside the building. party. Outside the party, he is building his, his himself, especially in the north. Don't you see him? Is he not going? If he would concentrate in building his party, in solving the problem in the party, forget about uh, people what, outside. Problem, every party has a problem. So the no, he, he on, never said it. My point is that my point is that he never said he is leaving the party so, so oh, soon. Uh -huh. He also gave us confidence that things that still work on ground. You so if the party still like just like the way, just like the way Abure is fighting everybody to retain the position, oh, you man. want him to come and be fighting with Abure. Peter B is not a member of national working. Peter B is not a member of national working committee. How he's building in the north? He's really Peter B. Is it that one that he went to eat with that little boy? He was eating in the same spoon, using the same spoon to fill that boy, and was eating. Using that same food to eat is that the way? There was, uh, there was the, is there was this. The uh, is, is it no, the, is that's that not, the that's not only the building. Oh, that's not only the building. There was this borehole that he he dug a lot of borehole in the, in the north in the past few months. But the one, the one that he said that shocking was the one that he said uh, one school one I don't know they requested for for that water and the local government and the government cannot provide it for them. Then, for the first time, the that school commended him so much because this is the first time they are receiving something from a public.
public figure. So he dug he dug that ball hole to them and they handed over to them. Yeah, but uh, but how many uh, how, 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 how many ball holes has uh, Malam Malam uh, Malamobi built in uh, the east? Malamobi. It would have followed if you have followed it. If you if you have followed the if you have followed the interview if you if you have followed the interview he would you had him right. Almost all the secondary school in in Anambra State has ball hole under his tenure with generator he gave them borehole with generator and with vehicle all the secondary school in this in the in anambra state so it's not that he's not it's not that he, he started building um building borehole today you would have if you if you said you you watched the interview you would have had him say it not me saying hey, it okay, he, so, he, was he not the one that was talking about the revamping of the Onisha, waterworks and all those things. So if he revamp yes, all those things, here, yeah. why well, is it personally... all done? Let me finish. Let me finish my question. If we revamp all those old waterworks I claim you revamped, then why was he constructing borehole in the schools? Why can't he run the pipe bomb water into those schools? Yeah, he first of all make sure that he gave them water. He didn't want to do things that you come he and be was, using he was propaganda. fighting those workers, those uh, water corporation people. Those he didn't fight them. Pay. He didn't fight them, Babaja. The most important thing Some is that he gave these people this... died now. Uh, well, the, not, the most, uh, the, uh, so uh, Baba, Babaja, Babaja. The most important thing is that he gave the schools boho. But was it you not understand? Obiano? Was it not Obiano that came to clear the? Ob Obiano is the one that came yeah. to clear that mess, and um, you know. The most important thing is that the most important thing is that he gave the schools. In Anambra said Boho. All the schools in Anambra, all the secondary schools in Anambra, he gave them Boho. What, of, uh, me, 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 me. what do you call this man? Uh, Soludo, that is feeding pipe bomb water. Which pipe bomb oh, water? Oh, I beg. The one oh, they oh, went oh, to oh, do oh, in uh, oh, 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 Okupo. Right. Which one? Babaja, Babaja, I don't want to. I don't, I don't do, he I don't do pipe bomb water in Okupo now. He did not I do mean, anything. He oh, did not do anything. They will tell you he has done nothing. What did he do? He's obese. He did not do, I told you, I told you, I told you, oh, I told you that he gave all the secondary school in Anambra said Boho with the generator. You are telling me he's doing pipe on water. Where? Where did he do the pipe on water? In no oh, pupo. Oh, 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 pupo. Can you no, listen like... to yourself? He gave them ball with generator. Can you listen to what you are talking about? A governor giving them ball with generator. Who will be fueling the generator? How would they sustain that one? That generator is for the purpose of pumping water. Uh, yeah, yeah, say how would they maintain it? Say how would they maintain it? Why yeah, wouldn't they maintain it? Now that one is no problem. It, it would with they will you marry wife for them and give them one. You are they will when you give um, uh, hello uh, Simba uh, Simba Simba. Uh, Simba. Will they will you marry wife for them and still give them a match to be sleeping with their wives? Yeah. I don't I don't even know. It's not a public school. Oh, a public oh, school oh, that oh, he provide oh, he provide oh, he provide a borehole he provide a borehole give them generator oh, then you still want him oh, to be to provide he after marrying the wife for them he will now go to the market and buy the mat that they will be using to be sleeping with their wives and then after he, has the, after he has bought the mat what else would they do for them i, I think we do what to uh, he will to, not be teaching them how to sleep with their wife like. <laughs> that, that's how let's his timber question looks like let's keep it let's stop quit timber question looks like that but uh, oh, oh, oh. simba simba sorry one man you see yeah you can't win the kenya in this let me let me draw uh, you attention to something that that peter will be said today he was trying to, you know, the same way we always paint himself as like a saint. Uh, somebody asked him question about LSOT, you know, uh, sponsoring law to cancel pension for past governors and co. He heard that LSOT and then he now divert, digressed to, in his usual way, to that he met one boy like that, uh, one man who is collecting, whose pension is between 4000 to 5000 and um that touched him so much that da, 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 and started comparing that da. so the question that first came to my mind is that in anambra state that you were governor for eight years what did you do about people's pension because the way i've seen nigeria now is that you see problem complaining about problem you that were a governor for eight years I should be able to see a good example in your leadership at your state level. What is happening presently to your home pensioner? 
Are they collecting far above what an average pensioner is collecting in Nigeria? The answer is big no. It's a lie. So, okay. It's a lie. Oh, pensioner. It's a lie. Enjoy, you can right? check. You can check his time. He was he, even. I, will pull I think Alex Toti is the second Lord. person. But in Lord. during the during their time as a governor, I will he was only person for you. Our pensioner were protesting. If you see that, will you say? You, you how pensioners you put out you put out the end of his tenure was he able to pay what is he owing pensioners is he owing gratuity he's not talking he about who he eke eke ne okay he's not talking about who he do you know do you know let me tell you in an ambrose state before he became a governor no obweni i will not allow you to i've i've had what you said you lie really i've had what you said but i want to i want to lay this fact to you i want to lay this fact to you it's not propaganda let me tell you, before he became governor, yes, governor, the 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 former governors were owing about two years salary. I mean two years or more than salary, not pension. No. pension. They never go that 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 area. Okay, now you are going to gratuity. Far. Let me finish. It's not like it's not it's not going it's not going too far. So all the strike you see during his time was as a result of pension do you know that anambra was was not going uh the schools in anambra closed down for almost two years during the time of umbali oh, oh. Oh, 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 all right uh, uh, no uh, school uh, no uh, school uh, is uh, in anambra state uh, uh, after no that uh, can I, you have to let the conversation flow a bit land that point oh, yes then, i want then, to then respond to a when for i want because when my my I'm my my position here responding. my position there is to respond to when he, so when he came he has to restructure all those stuff and paid up the whole debt after people were complaining we are lamenting and at least he has gave a background of what made him to to go and pay the pension after he went to church and one woman was holding him telling him that he will not make heaven that he refused to pay her pension so he has to leave the church and visit the woman at home that was the day he made up that that, uh, that promise that he was going to pay all the pensioners which he did so oh, why oh, do you oh, like oh, to, oh, 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 why do you like to bring um, things that doesn't exist and that is why oh, oh. as the governor he performed excellently well in terms of paying pensions okay, and salary and gratuities okay, up until today and he has he restructured it in a way that up until today anambra state is not owing pensioners Oh, 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 all right, uh, uh, all right. Uh, Kenne, you have to be careful about these things. Uh, Obiano disburses nine hundred and fifty million naira to clear pension arrears. Yeah, so yeah, those pension you arrears, uh, you know. Be careful. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm disbursing fifty million on who? On which note? On which you note? Back. You know, this is is he the one is going? You, you, you know, it's just uh, 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 this guy's record. When, 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 when was uh, the news? Is he the one? He, he declared. He declared oh, the nine fifty million. Uh, uh, can, to, I, uh, can I? Can I? No, be muscles now. You know. You know. No, one man. Muscles. One man is a muscle because you. And then this is not kind of a lie. Oh, they are not issuing nine hundred fifty million pensioners, and he 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 muscle out that money to clear that pension. And you are saying that he clear. Is it the big pension that he he paid off? He paid off the pension he's owing now. What oh, are you trying oh, to right. say? If you, if you hold on, oh, everybody, okay, hold, hold on, everybody, hold on one second. Let me give you a couple of paragraphs from this. It says, um, or oh, 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 does it even speak? If it speaks, then uh, let, let's see if it speaks. Uh, uh so sorry. Uh, uh, can I do, you, you always oh, make us do this. State where the governor Willie Obiano has announced the payment of a nine hundred and fifty million naira pension and gratuity arrears for retired workers in the state. This announcement was made during the presentation of checks by the governor to 600 retired local government workers to clear the backlog of pension and gratuity arrears from January to June this year. To date, Anambra State government has paid over 40 billion towards uh, pension payments and what have you. And what is different now is that going forward, I will not need a presentation like this to come and make these payments. Every month, these people will be paid automatically. We have uh, taken pains to put everybody on biometrics, and uh, we have ascertained the true uh, pensioners and who is not there. So with this uh, level of uh, assurance, uh, we will begin to make these payments monthly. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure Oh, oh, okay, I'm not sure that that actually dates back to Peter Obi. I think that's within his own cycle. But uh, 
God, God, somebody pay the money he's owing, and you are taking it to be. Uh, well, that's what I said. I said that, I, uh, oh, okay, now uh, 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 can I settle down? Now I, I already acknowledge that that's that's within his cycle, not uh, getting back to Pitobi. Uh, but uh, 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 when they say 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 that say, say what oh, you want man. to say, and then we get back to that. Yeah. The approach that can I use is, is that it will railroad you. Yeah, fill up bus train, that, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> that eventually, you just drop that issue. My issue is simple. He is the one who digress to you know form another question for himself to answer. I said Dobi met somebody and was complaining about the meager amount they pay as pension. And I said during Obi's time, he never increased the amount he paid pensioners in his state. That's my point. I'm not saying whether you clear in a kitty today. They said they have cleared. They said Iban Day is clearing. But my point is, but, uh... if you are clearing and what you are clearing is still... wait, don't reroad me like before, please. If you have cleared and what you are still claiming is that 4,000 to 5,000 that you are paying, just that minga amount. And I have somebody who is complaining that, ah, I met somebody who in Abia whose amount they are paying the person is 4,000 to 500. And I feel so sad. How can they be paying 4,500 as pension? My point is that if the state you rule for eight years, you did not increase their pension. Okay. It's okay. Can like I come in? Wait, wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's just that the okay. same way the same OB went to one university, I think in Oka, and he said he met a friend who was his course mate in UNN, and that he wondered that the person was asking that if he can be his PA or something like that, that the person is a professor, something like that, and that the kind of money they are collecting there. This is a state university. When you were there for eight years, what did you do? Did you increase their cost of living their... Their standard of living, if you did, you won't find out your friend begging today. That is exactly my problem. Nigeria, okay, okay, let me let me let me address it, Obeni. Let me address it, Obeni. Let me land. I'm coming. Let me land. You see, when they keep telling you, Obi did this in Anambra, Obi did this in Anambra, I keep asking, is it the same Anambra? Can somebody mm. today? Stand up and be boastful that Anambra is a standard in Nigeria. Where is the standard? I keep asking, and everybody. We are now generalizing the issue. We are talking about the performance of one man. We are now. You are not trying to castigate Anambra State, but now that's not the point. Don't castigate the state. After all, if we, if we, if we, if we, if we castigate the state, you, you call your state, then we castigate each other. No, no, no. Stop this sentiment. No, me, you are trying me. to castigate the state. No, that no, is no, what no, you no. want Don't to do. Don't me. Please let me land. Can I, please, please, I'll give you space. Let me land. We all talk about Lagos here. About that, Lekoko will talk. You, you will castigate your own. We will talk about how dirty Lagos state is. We talk about this. At the same time. But when you are taking me too far, I wanted to respond to something. You are taking me too far. You, no, I no, wanted no, to no, respond no, to something. No, 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 no. You have. No, you no, cannot no, just say something. I can like let him speak now. Let him please, land. Let me land. You Let have created an, an impression here, which I try, I, I will correct. There is no way you railroad me on this. I'll correct it as if just the same thing one of Spurgey came to do here, and I and I corrected immediately. I I don't like going to the narrow part of a uh, tribal or you are castigating one state. No, I don't do that. And when I'm when I'm when I'm analyzing a state, it's a state in Nigeria. I said we are saying we are no longer one Nigeria. So don't see it as if I'm castigating Anambra. I'm telling you, Anambra, it's not a standard for Nigeria. If it's a standard, tell me. Okay. It's not. Okay, it's not a, stand it's not a standard for Nigeria, but... But, uh, and you'll be but, telling uh, you, but, it's not verified. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, we, we, can, we can bring it down to Ekiti and uh, check their, actually, their performance in the time. It's not a standard for time. Nigeria. So, but let me, let, me, let me come up to what you... Let me come up with the argument. First of all, you said that uh, they did increase the pension of the, of the workers there. Uh, I don't think it is so, but the standard of living then, if you are paying somebody like 5,000 or 10,000 naira as a pension during his time as a governor, it's a big money. You can do a lot with it, only to compare today. So 5,000 naira today cannot even do a transport. We have, just like what I told you, uh, PDP was paying 19,000 minimum wage, but it's a big money. You can do a lot with it. During their time as uh, when they were in government, 
So if he if he's paying pension of ten thousand naira or five thousand naira during his time as a governor, you can do a lot with with that. That time the carton of Indomie, you can still achieve uh, afford it for seven fifty or eight fifty. You can buy you can still buy a bag of cement for one thousand two hundred or one thousand three hundred naira when he was governor. So you check uh, how much a bag of cement ten thousand naira. How much bag? How many bags of cement it can buy for you then? Compared to that, a bag of cement is about ten thousand naira or so. Do you understand? So that's how you calculate it. You don't just come and say, "Did he increase? Did he do and that? Then, Did he do this?" So like, you like, no. I want to counter you your argument. Has, are you saying no? Let, has let me OB? let me counter your argument during the. Are you let saying the pensioners under OB in Anabras two gentlemen? Two, when when the ratings are four hours, I'll be shutting it down. No, so whoever no, has no, not what I'm, to what speak, I'm telling you, what I, I want to yet. counter your, I want to counter your yes, argument. My point is that for you, you to know, do you know that that will be in Anabra? They stood clear and better than any pensioner in other parts of Nigeria during OB in Anabra. Is that what you are I, saying? I, the, only thing, the only thing I know is that they get their pension at the time due. Was they get their gratuity. Yes. The, about sufficiency here. So my hope yeah, is that... With the, sufficiency, the sufficiency then is enough. The money is sufficient to get you a lot of things. 5,000 Naira, 10,000 Naira can get you a lot of things in Nigeria then. Just get that. Obeni, there is no argument about it. You don't understand. You understand? So, they were, they, they so what I'm telling you, what what what, see, I, what I'm telling you, see, you, what I'm telling you, what I'm here, telling you is that you know what I've seen. You rush here to come and paint an abroader will be like one. No, the, the point is that I'm but not saying that will be. I, I'm, not, not I'm not. I'm not saying that will be finished all the work. I'm sure all these things you are talking about. Let me. Oh, when you would, you would have say. allowed me. I gave you some. I gave you some minutes to speak now. No, you know we are having an argument. So I didn't say Obi finish everything in Anambra State, but Obi set a standard of what Anambra is today than what, what it Anambra? used to be before. I keep asking. Tell Let me. I just Anambra told Anambra you. Anambra. I just told you. Even before he started paying pension, before he started paying pension, Obi Anambra is paying pension alone. Pension alone will be cleared. Pension and gratuity alone will be cleared. It's about that, that sort of billion naira. I didn't know, time. but I'm talking about my state. What it? I'm Where's just. It you're talking about let that. me finish now. Allow me to speak. I'm telling you that pension and gratuity alone, he cleared it. And Amber said, when he became a governor, it's about that something billion. When when naira was money, that something billion is not one naira. To tell you the amount of pension owing in Anambra State. Is that well, no, right? We, 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 we must move on. Gentlemen, hold on. This is not going to land one anywhere, man. so let's just move on. Ah, uh, yes, Bishop. No, yeah. I just wanted to say if you are going to shut down in four hours, can we just move away from this? Uh, uh, yes, it, it's never going to end, so so let's just move on. I don't let go back to you. Okay, so um so I think every obedient should be worried if you really if if um you as an obedient is looking at obi as uh, who you really believe in as your political leader as a person that can take nigeria to the prophet promised land if you listen to what he said today and you listen clearly because it's one thing to listen it's another thing to listen clearly listen clearly and hard what he said today you should be worried he's not showing um a man that is ready to be stable in one political party. That is what the statement he made today. That is what that statement represents. And that is not good. You cannot be follow follow because like fella, you know, some some they follow follow them close their eyes and close eye bang 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 some they follow follow then close then ear and close ear bini bini some they follow follow then close then eye 
close eyes, bang, bang, bang. Some they follow, follow, then close them brain. You, you don't want to be in that category of people that fella sings about. For, you can't be Mr. Follow, follow. If you follow him to a particular place, to a particular point that is showing that, look, I am not stable. It looks like this party is sending signal that I have talked to them. If they are not ready, I'm ready to move. I'm not there to build the party, but to go and build Nigeria. That is not a good statement from a political, a political. That means it will be taking you from one place to other. It, 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 I mean, all effort going to end up in, in, in futility. It's not going to achieve whatever he is, is dreaming to achieve. You will follow him around and you will not get there. And so what is what is what what, what are you laboring for? So everybody, every obedience should be worried. They should think, analyze that statement, and if possible, when they meet him again, this statement, they should ask him questions. They should ask him to explain what it means by all those statements. The statement he made. Three category of statement that showed clearly that Labour Party is not the end of the road for Obi. He still have in mind that if Labour Party does not work, work, work well with him, he will move to another party. That will show a complete, unstable, realistic, unfuturistic leader. That is what it shows to me. So, one man, let me leave it there. Oh, oh all right, brilliant, Ajan Le Coco. Ajan Le Coco, are you able to make a very brief comment on this? Uh, the uh, Lagos Calabar Coastal Road, uh, which has kicked off. Uh, uh, just make it up uh, as short as possible, then, then, then I'll move on. Let me tell you, one man, this is um, an economy of the future that Tinumbu is trying to build. He, he, he is trying to open the whole of our coastline to the world. He's trying to make them a gateway to outside to um, international world. So what it means is that between Lagos and Calabar, you see, we can Lagos, as we know, geographically is is um, is a gateway um, between Nigeria to outside world. So now, from Lagos to all those coastlines, all the way to Calabar, that shows that Lagos economy is going to be connected to nice state in the south so whether we like it or not strategically lagos is going to benefit lagos economy will expand more because all other states as well will still depend on lagos and lagos with its facilitating um you know a a, a, a um uh, an opportunity uh, uh, for uh, the economic development for other states uh, we, uh, as well through their coastline. They can connect with Lagos. They can open up to, you know, um, study world as well. So you will, this is going to attract investors to come and develop, you know, every state that is connected to this coastline. All these nice states are going to be very attractive to investors. And what it means is that, you know, um, infrastructure will come. This infrastructure, once it's completed, development will, will, will come. When development comes, then you're going to see um, 
um, uh, 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 when development come, revenue will come for the government, and then job opportunity will come, and economic growth will be recorded, productivity will be achieved, and you know that is when we will start to see economic stability in Nigeria. Just like Ogbeni said, that the idea of this has been on the ground for over 25 years, but no regime has shown interest to develop it. But this man is trying to develop it now. And once it, when it's completed, man, the southern part of Nigeria, the economy of the southern part of Nigeria, particularly all those states that uh, 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 are going to have, have um, this nice state that going to have this um, um, uh, uh, this development, the economy will never be the same again. The economy is going to be expanded. E economic growth we 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 ensued, and it's going to be better off for all those states. And all in all, all the nine states, all the southern states of uh, uh, Nigeria will benefit. Even those that are not connected to it, like the eastern part of uh, Nigeria now is not connected, but they are connected to, to Calabar, they are connected to river, they are connected um, uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, Delta. So they are going to benefit. So it, it's going to be a, a big, we are going to see a, a big <clears throat> growth for the southern Nigeria. It's going to be huge. This is an economy of the future. And this is what is going to sustain Nigeria. And we are going to see a situation where when, when this issue of restructuring come, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, one more, what do you call this um, uh, 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 resource control come? And we already have this on the ground. Man, sky will be the limit. All the economy will be, um, you know, uh, the, the economy in the South will be, will, will, will be very, very buoyant. So that's the way I've seen it, one man. Oh, oh, all right, Bilan. Th thank you, Ajane Koko. So thank you, Ajane Koko. So we go from you, Ajane Koko, to... Uh, let's go to Simba, uh, and then we do the eight-minute slot. Uh, uh, Simba, floor is yours. Uh, we don't necessarily have to carry on with Peter, but well, you can if you want to. Uh, I don't think we have Simba fully. Uh, no, let, let's go to... Oh, oh, all right, Bilan. Uh, so, so, Simba, good to see you. Uh, uh, you didn't talk about... Which, which is what? The much awaited uh, last batch of uh, Tinubu's drug dealing thing is out now. Oh, right. Uh, that, that, that escaped the news site. Is, is that for this session? Or uh, can you send me? It? That sounds like tomorrow's session. Uh, there's nothing much in it. And that's why the day is not making noise at all. Oh, 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 what, whatever happened to day? It's gone very cold all of a sudden. Uh, are they, yeah. is, he, is he in some uh, immigration detention center in whichever country? He was on Obi's platform to do. Oh, all right. Did they, did, they, did, they, did they give him the mic? They didn't let him speak. <laughs> I'm not sure. It, it's been used and dumped, Abby. Used and dumped. Uh, <laughs> That, that, so many people have been used and dumped by that space. I wonder when they are going to dump Aisha Yesufu and the rest of them as well, you know? They push them. They are expecting the last batch from SB, FBI. Now it's out. Do you see them? They are not yeah, remember, there was there was a time we couldn't talk of anything else but the FBI. It wasn't not 10,000 documents or something, yes. about a million no, documents. They said pages. They said about <laughs> hundreds of thousands of pages. <laughs> FBI it's files. Out. Uh, eh? <laughs> and, it, and it's transcript and um oh, oh god we found some some weird oh, god love might me yeah ah. uh, hey, you no know, you know, yeah. one man he, 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 one of the problems is that we tend to forget very easily yeah if we have to rewind all those things that people said post election pre election the people have said terrible things that most of them were forgotten now and we move on and that is that is life for you. <laughs> oh, 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 all right, carry on, Simba. So um, the floor okay, is yours. So, uh, I don't, I don't me, know. Yeah, 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 go on. Let me start with this uh, east-west road. You know, one of the things that we have to be doing now, because everybody is complaining that okay, we are, um, there is no job, 
the purchasing power of people who have reduced and all those things. We need to invest a lot of money in infrastructure. And if we have a lot of ongoing projects in the country, it's going to stimulate the economy. People will earn more money and the purchasing power of the people will be boosted. And it's going to have a, a, a multi-dimensional effect on the people. It's not only people that work directly with this construction company. The banks, so to name it, everybody will benefit, even the people that are selling food. So to, the, what we should be praying for is that they should have a way of financing it. And then it should not be an abandoned project that is, they should continue working on it until they see this project, I mean, follow it to finish. The, and if you look at the effect, it is actually um, cutting across about nine states. And it's going to cut across, especially the Niger Delta states. And it's, it's, it, it, even if you look at it, if you want to go to Calabar now through Shagamu, through Ore, and all those things, it takes a longer time. This 700 kilometers road is going to also cut across, uh, avoid all the, the log jam that you can see on all these roads. And it's going, in fact, it's going to be a marvelous project if they can actually finance it and see to the end of, to, to see it to the end. So to me, it's a good project and let Tinubu finish it even during his first tenure. So that at least if we, if we can have that one, it's going to also help him in, in the second building. So that's what I want to say about that project. Oh, 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 all right. Do, do you want to go on to uh, do, do you want to go on to um, the naira making uh, uh, not even marginal but uh, quantum gains against our uh, international currencies? Uh, it just uh, 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 and by the way, these figures don't dismiss them out of hand. It says naira appreciates to one thousand two hundred and eighty at the parallel market, and then when I went to uh, to uh, remitly. Uh, it's, it's almost mirroring. So they're telling you 1,208 there, but Remitly is giving you 1,299. So 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 the gains is almost at the same speed as the loss, uh, Simba. Hey, you know, one, what this one tells you is that the loss initially was actually not real. It's artificial. It was maybe due to speculators or some people doing some things underneath so maybe the way the um, current um, uh, governor of the central bank is working and i hope he sustained it he is actually having a great effect on on the value of the naira and if we can sustain this uh, um, appreciation it's going to have a significant effect as i said earlier one of the things that affected the purchasing value of people, of Nigerians, is actually the depreciation of Naira. So if Naira appreciated, the price of goods at long so run... So it's, not, it's not even a, it's not even about, sorry, Kimba, you, you know, because this is an argument I've been trying to push through, but I've not been succeeding. It's not so much a narrative of increasing the minimum wage. It's really a, a narrative of uh, increasing the value of the Naira. But that's what I'm saying. And yes. that is why government has to be very careful not to rush to increase the wages. Because but if they increase the wages and the Naira appreciated, let's say, into a three digits, it will be very difficult for them to also pay this salary. You understand? And also, that one can also contribute to inflation because if you have, if the purchasing power of the people also increases, if it, it can also cause inflation. So if the government actually um, um, continue their effort in strengthening the Naira, this will also, at least it will cushion, it will have a lot of, in fact, rather than increasing the salary, they should focus more on in, increasing the, the value of Naira, strengthening the value of Naira. If that, because Nigeria, you can't isolate Nigeria from the global village. You know, I, one man, I've, I've said it earlier, if the price of most of the things that we consume in the country are imported, 
And if the price is one dollar and the naira started depreciating and the naira is now two thousand, it will be this price in a year will be two thousand. And even the one that we are producing in Nigeria, if as a farmer I have something that I can sell and somebody comes from the Benin Republic can buy at a higher price. I would rather sell to Benin Republic than to, to, to sell to a Nigerian that doesn't have higher purchasing power. So with this now, the, if this thing is sustained and Naira keep appreciating, the, the, the price of goods and, and services will fall and the, the purchasing power of the people will in, in, improve. So the, even the clamoring for increased wages will also reduce. So the, the government should be very careful and the NLC should also be very careful of not actually pushing government into a further crisis by clamoring for, though even with the appreciation, they're supposed to increase the salary, but they should agree on something that is a, a, that everybody should be able to afford, both at the national and the state level. So to me, it's a good thing. And then uh, we should pray that it continue appreciating. And then stability is the key. If you can even maintain it at this 1,002, then it stays like that. Yes, it will also be good for business because at least as a businessman, you know that if you take your money to Nigeria and you invested in Nigeria, it, it won't be as if that by the time you are investing, you, are, you invested at 1,002. Then uh, maybe some few weeks after the, the, the Naira has been shifted to 1,500, that is a loss. So stability, we also, this appreciation, if it's stable, we also encourage a lot of foreign in, in, in investment in, that, in, in our country. And so it's a good thing. And we should, also, we should be talking about it. It's only when they depreciate that people will come every day and be saying, hey, look at the value of Naira now. This is 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 a is a good development. Whenever we say anything good that is happening in our country, we should say it is only bad thing that we're supposed to now be amplifying. So to me, it is a good thing, and let it continue like that, and then, then be stable. All, all right, still staying within that space of the Naira's relationship uh, with international currency and and the strengthening of the Naira against the international currency, the Northern groups. They are urging business, businesses now to, to, to react to uh, this uh, uh, fight back that the Naira is making against international currencies and slash the prices. So uh, uh, how quickly are you anticipating that these gains should translate to, uh, uh, to the markets where people are making purchases? Um, as I said earlier, I, mean, I, don't, I don't expect prices to start falling within one or two weeks it will take a minimum of one month and above. Are you there, Sinbad? No. Did you draw? Uh, okay. Uh, are you there? Can you, can you hear me? I, I can now. Carry on. You drop for a moment. Uh, Hello, ca ca carry Yeah, ca carry on. You drop for a moment. We can hear you now. Okay, so what I'm saying is this, if as a manufacturer, you imported raw material at maybe at a dollar rate of uh, 1,700, and you still have your raw material in your warehouse, you cannot afford to just slash the price of your, your, uh, your goods immediately. It will take that duration of that you have to use that raw material for you to be able to to, to bring that. So it's only the next consignment of your, your raw material that imported that you'll be able to now start bringing the price down. You know, one thing about business, one man is this, if, if the price of Naira, if Naira depreciates, people will increase the price of goods according to the falling immediately because you have to, because if you want to buy, you buy at the rate that is high. If you then, but, but it's, it's very easy to jack up the price, but it's very difficult to bring down the price because if you want to bring down the price, you are going to bring down at a lot. What Ekene is talking about is okay, you can bring it down so that then immediately you say you go and buy the you go and buy the dollar. 
No, you don't do it. It's only people that are doing maybe buying and selling that can do that. But if you are doing a long time, if you are doing, you are into production, manufacturing, it's very difficult because it's going to take you, okay, you, you produce, you sell. It takes time to get the money. Even some of these, some of these manufacturers are selling in, 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 uh, um, um, what are, what would I call it? Um, um, they are selling, they are not selling to their customer and the customer will pay immediately. Some of them are, are selling on credit. So it's not going to, so what, what I'm expecting is that within, if the thing is sustained within a month or two, then we should be expecting an appreciable fall in the price of goods and services. That's so that, that, that is it, but can, within one can week, say, can, it's can not I, going to be possible. Can I say something? I don't think we are going to record a significant uh, change in the price, even though it might reduce. It's just going to be, it's not going to be the significant because uh, cost of production in Nigeria is high. Uh, as a result of uh, non-availability of electricity, most uh, production plants still depend on uh, what do you call it, um, diesel. Cost of diesel is high, and uh, not only that, taxation is high. So the 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 federal government must do something on the physical side by you know um, they must come out with a policy on taxation that will um, give room for, um, um, how do I say it, um, uh, for uh, manufacturers, you know, that, that we, we cut costs, that we bring about, you know, costs, co 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 um, um, we, we reduce the cost of production, yeah. So the cost of but, sorry, but, 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 okay um cost of before uh, the uh, bizu, uh, bizu. Hold, on, hold on hold on cost of production is high tariff is high even when you import something you are bringing in that one is high and then the regular taxes concerning the uh, withholding tax um, some other taxes all of them are high as well. So it is just the, if, if we continue to rely on uh, imported raw materials uh, for our local plant, and most of our day, what we consume come from uh, abroad as well, we are not going to see significant change. As long as dollar, we still run our economy with dollar. So it's still going to be tough. So that's just what oh. I was. Okay, let me let me respond to the what you are just saying. Um, you are talking about the cost of uh, diesel and all those things. All those things increases because of dollar depreciation of naira. Presently, the price of diesel is coming down now. So then, even when um, you talk about the price of diesel that is coming down. It, it got it was initially around it got for almost two thousand naira. I think it's about uh, maybe one thousand six, one thousand seven now. And I'm very sure by the time they get their next consignment at this rate, it's going to fall further down. Then when you talk about importation duty, that they are also that one is also tied to dollar. So if uh, somebody was talking about the the custom duty and uh, that is still at uh, 1,400 for something, I think maybe day before yesterday or two days ago, they are going to revise that one also. They are going to review it. And then as the price of, I mean, the price of dollar is going down, it is good. They, 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 they will review it because the way they review it upward, uh, the same way they are going to review it downward. They yeah, you are talking that, about, you are going, that. you are not talking that. about, they are going to do it. It's not something that they is not, not like, done it. Not done it. What Doctor, you Baba Jale Kuku, they cannot be talk? talking about this thing every day. They cannot are be talking sure about it every day. They are going to, they are do, going to do it. They are going, why are you so do. negative? They are going to do it. What do you mean by negative? We are talking that they have not done something and you are saying they are going to do Have they come out with a positive position that they are going to do that? They have not done it. 
we are calling on them to do it. What we'll give you what we'll, uh, translation as well? You can't the, have, let, let me let me say this. Let me you, say this. You the I, I think they're working on a single digit taxation. I got I got I have read, read something now. They, they have to do all of all of those things so that uh, manufacturers the, have to leave and cost of production will Babaja, what i'm saying is this I, did you see them increasing the cost of uh, the taxation recently the price increase that we have now is not because of taxation if you are talking about long term thing yes i agree with you but it doesn't contribute anything to the present price increment in goods and services that's what i'm telling you who told you that taxation doesn't contribute what what are you saying i'm talking the the taxation the what we have now yeah. is what we have been using for years it's, still it's high. not something that's that's well, i'm not saying it's not high i'm not saying it's not yeah. high but if something has been there for hold on if something has been there for the past two three four years you cannot adduce that one as a reason for the present increase in prices of goods and services that's what i'm telling you and, and, and what we are saying if oh. they can bring it <laughs> It can help the, the it will the, help, but oh, it's oh, oh, not all right. Start to wrap up that space, uh, um, uh, Simba. So I take you to one more and then move move on. Okay, so I, I think I, I think I'm 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 done with this. I use this we if, if we can sustain this and the appreciate the nearest keep on appreciating. I believe, I believe and have that confidence that is going to actually have a significant effect on the price of goods and services oh, oh, oh all right Brilliant. do you want to go to the petal base space who had a big day no i think today? that one has been has been oh, over uh, has Obi, Obi, Obi yeah. is just a this is just a, the guy is is not is not ready to take any responsibility he dodge responsibility he doesn't have is he, the guy has been enslaved by his supporters he always he only he only dance to whatever the they, they tells him he, he doesn't have any leadership skill he doesn't have any he, and to me a ob can he cannot somebody that cannot even control a party wanted to control a complex country like nigeria it's not possible you, you, know, anybody... you, you, you know you know something simba <clears throat> There is nothing that suggests that Obi is equipped. So if you look at Anambra State, um, Anambra State is a monolith uh, in so many ways. It's, it's, it's uh, to all, uh, uh, almost uh, uh, all intents and purposes, a single ethnicity. At least a good 80% of them will be just of one ethnic stock. And a good 80% of them will be of just one religion. So he essentially managed um uh, 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 essentially 80 percent ego 80 percent catholic state you, you know so so the, the, and if you look at nigeria it, 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 i don't even think think we have a, a true picture of just how many tribes we have in that country mm -hmm. and how complex they all are you, you know so there, there is nothing that prepares him for for governing that space one, one man know? Yeah. Oh man, when he was the governor of uh, those states, I mean of uh, Anambra state, who knows about Anambra? Do we hear anything about Anambra? It was because they know that Nigerians can easily that forget what has that happened in the past. Can they, they cannot, they cannot answer. Simba. So the uh, the people will just go back. You know, we have this habit of saying, "Ah, in the past." Uh, it was so good things were so rosy it was you know that is the way we do we, now somebody people are comparing Buhari regime with you know we just like comparing bad things with bad things you understand how can somebody tell me that nigeria has been good before pdp government was the best that we can have economy was good during pdp well it, was there any time nigerian economy was good let us be realistic. No, no, no. You can't compare the time of PDP, Obasanjo PDP, uh, with Babangida and this time. It was better back then. You know, you know, uh, 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 let me tell uh, you, if you uh, look at look any country yeah. in the world, let me tell you this. No, it's there better. Is no, don't, 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 even, don't even go there. I'm not saying it's not better. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
you even when you are born your father will tell you that things were not good during that time you now you'll be telling your children that okay when you are before that is that is the story of the world everywhere in the world you are in america at the average america that even in the 80s how was the america compared to today they will say ah it was better that time than now we always look at the past as being better than the than the present our children we god forbid we they we also tell story that okay ah now it's better so that that is it we well, always yeah, look at the, the past the, as the, being the, 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 no, now is worse off you can it's not I, even well, it, I, it, I don't it, think it, i can i can win this argument with you so no, let me, let me, variable. don't let us be talking like this it's worse off mm. it's worse off a lot me, of you cannot even me. stay in Nigeria. A lot of you run out from Nigeria for one reason or the other. If it is good, no, I, I just think people when, have been when living in Nigeria. Good. When, 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 was, when were people not dying from Nigeria at once? Uh, uh, well, why did you, why did you left when you uh, that time that now. you are referring to? That time that you are referring to that was good. Baba Jale Koko, leave it to me. When did Please, you that, that time that now. was so good? Why did you left that time that it you are referring to? That when you left Nigeria, when you left Nigeria, was Nigeria not good according to you? When you left Nigeria, was Nigeria not good according to you? Time, about your time, time, you can't compare. When it did now. you left Nigeria? We I were said, answer the question. We were doing you. business with Nigeria there. We can't do it now. It, answer my question. When you left Forget Nigeria, when I left. That, well, why did that. you left that time? What we are telling you is that a lot of us were doing business with Nigeria during the ambassador time that we cannot do it now because you have all lost touch. Some it of is us not are touch. Doing it. it is not touch. You lost touch. It is not touch because we are when not going to make you profit. You can't when make profit. You, you, you can't make profit doing business with Nigeria. And the record is there. A lot of About companies are running out from the from the country from the country. It was there last no, year. Of, uh, it was there last year, looking at uh, all people that are, are running picking... out from the company, from the country. Baba has lost. And you want to tell me that uh, the Baba was there last year. Was he was just be saying, "Oh man, 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 Nigeria, he, oh man, man, man." I'm telling you, 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 Baba, man, Baba, America. Baba, 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 Hey, and it is easy. We are hopeful, and I will believe in our country. And our country, you, is you believe be in better. your country, you will stay there, yes. you will leave your country. And come and ask Americans, they don't want to leave their country, they believe their country is the world. They believe America is the world. They host no, them, uh, the host was that, taught, though. they call it World Series. The Ameri Americans America believe that America is the world. No, the Amer Americans in UK don't relocate. Uh, there are I mean, many Americans in the UK. There are many. Oh, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down. There are many British also who are down. living in Switzerland and Spain. I'm telling you the truth, though. I mean, be, 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 British come more. In fact, it's not like that. Let's even don't let us even go. British also live their country British now. British that American, they are the same. No, one but they are living their country. One of them is the same. One of them is the same. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you one recent fact about uh, the British. Do you know, because of the rate of tax and inflation in Britain, more Britain are leaving Britain, Britain now. And uh, where you know, where are they going? Is it not America? Switzerland, no, 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 no. Thailand, Thailand uh, Australia, 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 New Zealand, Australia. New Zealand, Canada. Canada. Is that country uh, now? No, no. You, you know, uh, 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 um. um on average, uh, British people don't actually like America. They like to visit it once in. A, they don't. I don't. I, I don't know a British person that wants to live in America. They're they would rather go to Australia, Australia, where Australia, their culture, Canada, mirror, yeah, yes. I, uh, yeah, 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 or even South that. Africa, but not America. They are migrating, you know. So yeah. migration is not is not a thing of today or something. Yeah, because the economy of Britain is is getting flattened, is getting worse every day. So that they got to move. So, but what we are saying is that you cannot compare Obasanjo's economic performance and what we have today in Nigeria. It's incomparable. No, so you it's have to put totally it in the contest. 
Baba Jale Teacher, Koko, teachers who are buying okay. vehicle, teachers who are building house, house in the Basel Joker. Civil servants are doing well. So we can't compare it. So are they not buying they vehicles compare. now? Are they not building houses now? Uh, one buy it or talk. Oh. One buy. There we go. Teachers are still buying houses. Uh, that uh, teacher and a vehicle or talk, it is true. Inside that, uh, you do live. Oh, 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 stop the sub sub. Oh, 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 what they are saying? You know, you know, is, this you know in the heart of your heart, know, what they are saying is not right. But you want to continue to put. We all love our country. If some of us are speaking against what is going on, it doesn't mean that we don't love the country. But some of you that want to deceive, want to you know, continue to talk like this politician that lies continue to lie to destroy the country want to portray us as if oh these people that are talking against the misgovernance of the country whoa they are unpatriotic they don't love the country it no, is not so. that's not that's not it baba jai koko we we also it's speak so. a lot of the bad things in our country but what our point is that people will always complain there must always be something to complain about and which is part of life there must be improvement but to now, um, in one in 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 uh, just use one big brush to demonize the whole country and say nothing is moving in the country is what me personally is against. But to say there are things to complain about your company, why not? Even the even uh, in America, you are talking about now. Americans still complain about many things in America. No, no, no. America will just sit down and say this is heaven. This is okay for us. There are things they con they complain about every day. Americans, so many of them still cause their leaders to date and think that they should improve more and do better. And that's what Simba is saying. So in Nigeria too, we, can, we have people who complain. I like what opposition is doing presently. I said when they take it to an idiotic extreme, that's the area I complain about. But when we are making little progress in our country, let's talk about our country. Let's talk about our leaders. Let's talk about things that are not going well in our space. But we should have it at our mind too that that we we'll always find things to develop or to move further in our country. But to see nothing good about our country is what me personally I'm, I'm, I'm actually against. So about that, uh -huh. and, and Simba has one question which I have not answered. That if those times, the 80s, 90s, were that so sweet and so rosy, why did you as a person leave the country? You've not answered that question. Okay, can I tell you why I left? Because I saw the direction at which the country was moving towards and knew that, no, this country is not a futuristic country. It's not a futuristic And the leaders are showing it every day to us. That they don't care about, hold on, hold on. That they only care about themselves they don't care about the people. We have seen several policy or several things that they have done within this short time that is telling us that, look, they, they, they're not ready to sacrifice. But they are, they are e e effecting a, a, a policy that is crushing the people, that continue to push people into a state of poverty. And they are not sacrificing nothing. Look, we have to speak up, man. This is not the way the, a country should govern. We, we, this is not the way the country should govern. They are not doing well enough for us. We pay them so much to do well. Look at how much these people are paid every month. Look at everything that are provided for them to succeed, to, 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 to work hard and make life, and, and, and work hard and make life, work, I mean, the country work better. But what All have right. they done? Oh, that oh, make oh, life oh, better oh. for the people. Oh, all right, Simba, wrap, wrap, wrap up that space. We're going to do a little. Baba Jale Koko, are you? Can you hear me? Mungbai, Mungbai. Uh, I haven't made any comment or interjecting anybody since this show started today, and I'll be listening. You are not a true patriotic Nigerian. You are not. You left Nigeria, and you are now saying you saw it, or you were. Uh, Omni saying or what? Like you say tomorrow. Why haven't you gone back? 
Okay, one man. Hello. No, I was yeah. saying bring it home and then we go on to Dewale. Okay, I, I think I'm I, I think I'm I'm done. Let's let's let us uh, we can move to Dewale. Baba uh -huh. is just doing the economical with the truth. Uh, no, Ajale Koko is uh this mm. playing double double uh it's playing a black and mm. uh, have you been mm. one man, okay. one man uh, uh, so like that uh, one uh, man, I don't think I, I can I can never relocate to that country. I don't think I can fit in. So what are we talking about? No, no, we can't fit in anymore now. I don't think I don't think any of us can fit into that country anymore. That's what uh, I'm really. saying. What are we talking yeah. about? The country. Yeah. Baba, <laughs> 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 Ojo o le ti roko la sin sin ton ba gbe yin lo so kun se ma ni meme ko so ko ni california oye o ko o ko la to wa nbi to ju te 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 lu yi lo roko le nse yen ni joko ni ani ka gbe koko ti o a soro organic ken soro gmo then plant in america se sha ja le koko yi le roko sha i don't i don't suspect that so o to wa nbi as a matter of fact, you've lost touch. You can't I leave Jamie la day now. So you can't be here and be there. So the best you can do is the one you are contributing now online, and then maybe. Send but it, it but it's our country. It's yes, our country. Yes. Let me yes. let me tell so you. Let, let me tell you, Benny. Yeah. A lot of people would have retired back home, but for the reason of safety, and you know, a security that it constitutes a big, you know, a, 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 a challenges there. That's a, that's a lame excuse about Jale Kupo. Those people they living there, are they not human being like you? Human being like you. Yeah, you that's a lame know. excuse. How, uh, when, when, when the... When the lights are and I do a little bit of a line, you can see. So, what you can see, someone saw no, I like you can see. Only for them to travel home after two years, I'll say, I wish I still remain in this country. They will be thinking it, but they won't say it to anybody. And they will be regretting, say, Oh, I wish I had stayed in this country. After two weeks of staying in Nigeria, home is home anytime, any day. We all traveled. You know, before this Japa uh, uh, train, we all travel simply because we wanted to explore. We wanted to see the other side. And yeah. I can bet you, if you have a if you have a job or something waiting for you back home today, right now at this moment, you will all go home. As a matter of fact, I was thinking that line. If there's any opportunity for me to even give back to the uh, my home state, I don't I don't mind going back. You know, I don't mind going back because at a certain stage you get to in life. Uh, having millions is not really a priority, but you know your 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 purpose is what will now make the difference. You know how old were the likes of Chinobu of today? How old were the Bajabi Amilas and the rest? You know even the crooked uh, Ibori. How old was he when he came back in '99 to contest? Somebody was life? even putting in the comment section that Dilipari to me is just 50 years old. Can you imagine that? 
I, I think it's more than 50. No, it's, it's not 50. I think it's 50. Yeah, it's more than, you know, it's, it's more than 50. But the thing is that people are, look, you'll be surprised, Simba, that people are truly, truly enjoy. Look at it. Can it can join us on this show every blessed day, right? Burning his own data. You know how much data costs in Nigeria? Do you think like a regular folks going to? Is a billionaire now. What are we talking? It was even Foley. This, this, these are these are big boys, man. These are ballers. These are ballers in their own right, and they will come and they will say, "Oh, the Nigerians are yes because you buy kerosene at the higher price, yes." But you are still a big, big, big man, okay? You are still a big man. So let us be patriotic a little bit about Jale Koko. Not everything is all is all gloom and doom. As of today, they are still going to have party tomorrow in Lagos, in Ogun State, in Oshun, in uh, Newe, anywhere. They will still have a party through block the entire street. And yet, you know, uh, well, sometimes we need to you know, say, say this thing is the way they, they are. No, 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 it's not all about, oh, uh, the heaven is crashing down. And, uh, yes, things are bad, things are but at the same time, they are still doing well. So, Abandale Koko, be a patriotic Nigeria, okay? <laughs> oh, 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 all right, they, they, they want to speak to the conversation. Uh, you're, you're up next. I, uh, oh, oh, I think... oh, by the way, why is my uh, my logo not showing on my um, on your on your show? Well, my, I'm supposed to have a uh, um, uh, on my uh, on my name supposed to be showing something, but I don't know why it's not that I, bad. I, 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 don't I think I, I think phallic symbols are not allowed on uh, YouTube, that's probably why they removed it. Really. Uh, 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 is this a, uh, the, oh, Leva, <laughs> look at this guy, yeah? Eh? Oh, oh, did, did you do oh, that? Oh, 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 Leva, oh, Leva, oh, Leva, oh, Leva, oh, I didn't do anything, no, it's just not being picked. Oh, 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 <laughs> today you gave your platform to broadcast that uh, Peter B's uh, media chat or whatever it is called. You 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 took your time to broadcast that. I mean, is X not enough? Why were you doing that? What is it new that is going to say it, that it, we... It, 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 you know, I, I thought maybe we should be pulling that conversation into this space. Uh, you know, I'm even looking for an obedient that will host a session and, and I mean, will not even be on screen so that they can just, they can run so that... Um, maybe Chioma I, I, can take that... Uh, no, uh, Chioma is not solid enough and obedient. I want a real hard call. Somebody like Joel or, maybe, you know, maybe so, you, somebody you, a real hardened... Maybe, Maybe you pick me. Yeah. You can pick me now. I will host it. <laughs> and I will, start, I will do. Yeah. I will do justice to that interview. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll well, shake you at the end of the day. Ah, no, 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 Pansat is not of this world now. He's, uh, no, that uh, one. Uh, that he's one. Not of this world. Actually, uh, uh, Pansat will be, will be more suitable for that job. Oh. No, 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 no. Pansat doesn't have fans. Even among the obedient, they don't like him. I think it's, it's on a true. different journey. I, I think it's just uh, self-aggrandizement that the guy is... Um, yeah. He's extreme in everything. Everything, mm. he, everything he says. And one thing is that he, he's trying uh, to he hold over try to He can try to Niger a woman. No, so to Niger is, uh, is middle of the road. It's not... We only talk about security. We, we just we mm. just be talking about security, security, security. Oh, although we, I've, been we, we, I've been monitoring to Niger, I think they are trying to flog him into to, to be more hardened obedient. So they are trying to. They be, uh, is I see him taking a bit in all over social media that it's not obedient enough. Mm. But you what, know, it, it, what it is. What you know, you know, what you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it, it is um, funny that you can separate a candidate from the platform that launched him to so this la limelight that is now enjoyed. I found it a little bit um, uh, funny how the Labour Party uh, spokesman, Kenneth Okonkwo, who said that 2027 is, for, uh, is about OB, not for Labour Party. 
And I'm beginning to wonder what, what kind of strategies goes into that, that, okay, if tomorrow Obi leaves the Labour Party and goes to SDP or any other party that is ready to uh, take him in, what message were they trying to pass to people that I'm desperate to become the president? However, it doesn't matter the kind of political platform that I choose to, to launch my ambition and leave Labour Party in tatters. Um, for, to me, it's, it's the most um, idiotic strategy I've ever seen in, when it comes to political uh, uh, system. I mean, you can't divorce candidates from a party. The tomorrow Obi's name will be synonymous with APGA and PDP. The tomorrow is allies will be in those parties. So now that the house is on fire and if we decided to leave and people are saying where well, all those things that took place in Inewi, is in Inewi that they did the conversion. And uh, what is this? Uh, in, uh, Ekene was trying to justify his absence at the convention. Chamfari Lori, let you do you do you cut somebody head, you know, without that person being present? I mean, I, I found that really, really amusing because I mean it shows uh, seriousness from 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 every principal uh, officer of that party. It, it shows the the their their lackadaisical attitude to what they what they claim that they wanted i mean nobody would take them serious and i tell you this come 2027 obi would not be able to record the same high number of you know devote voters that he, he got in 2023 reason being is that one one some people will be skeptical about the uh you know uh, about the sincerity of the INEC and the influence and involvement of the incumbent in ensuring that he returned back to the office. So, and not that, that, uh, that alone, people in, in government also are not going to be, you know, uh, looking and sit down, look. They will be strategizing and also sit tight as well. So, I mean... Uh, uh, do, me, I, do you think that this, even the religious card, will not, that one will not fly in 2027? Fly, fly, fly like... Because like, people are like saying that it's not, there's nothing like that. So it's not going to fly, and, yeah. and it's going to take a lot of votes from, from away from that. You know, the funny thing is that the only thing that can work is to say, well, the current administration does not, they didn't do much, they haven't done anything, and it's beginning to attack him from an economic point of view, which is a good strategy. But when you're now saying that the party itself is just irrelevant, However, we just need them on paper. And you see what is transpiring now on the, uh, 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 from the party, you have the, uh, the, the, the uh, what do you call them? The Abure returning back to the, to the office. I mean, it speaks volume about the, and if he dumped Labour Party, he will make his appeal to be more, you know, worse because people that are even considering him in the first place would not even, you know, consider him or believe him because, uh, you know, why you jumping and dumping? Because you, if you don't, your your ideology doesn't align with the platform that, I mean, the party that launched you, why are you jumping? You know, why not create your own party, your own political party, and nurture it to grow, all right? And it's also, it's, uh, well, that's a lack of involvement in, you know, getting his party into shape. I mean, it just doesn't speak as a leader to me. And for crying out loud, the concourse should not be the spokesperson to this because it seems it's not even trained in that area. And when you when you are when you are addressing issue, why are you jumping on? You're already saying that my principal, your principal is going to contest of 2027. We're just starting. In fact, the current administration is barely a year in the office. All these things should not even be pronounced as of now. It should be about attacking policies, attacking you know every moves of the current administration. I, I, I know, I mean, you know. You know, it, it, this is the first time, at least I've been following politics since eighties. This is the first time I will see a presidential candidate will lose an election, and we still continue to campaign after the election. And people will now be wondering why are people still talking about him. We are talking is about him because he, 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 he is not doing what he's supposed to do. He, he did not keep quiet. So where is where is all the other presidential candidates now? They've all kept quiet. They can attack the police, and you understand. 
or oh, Atiku is not talking the way Obi is talking. He's not jumping all over the space with the way Obi is jumping. And so, so like every other candidate. So if he's doing what he's supposed to do, nobody will talk about it. But if he's misbehaving the way he's misbehaving and jumping all over the space where they invite him will, will, and where they did not invite him, he will be going there and be looking for cheap political gain. We will keep on talking about him. So that's why we are talking about him. It's not as if that he has any special character that uh, we, are, we are envying him. So you should, you should just go. You should go. You should just go and lie low for now, and re-strategize. I don't know who is lying to each other, whether it is the prostitute or the uh, impotent. I don't know, but they say someone is lying to one another in that Labour Party or the movement itself. Calibanting uh, around and you know trying to identify with some uh, some downtrodden in the society would not buy you a single vote. To me, it shows uh, you are not serious because there are some, there are, the politicians know the time to be active and they know the time to be active and, uh, you know, uh, and sit back and watch. Uh, if you dispense all your energy running around just to be seen and to be heard, uh, a, a time will come that what you say will no longer be relevant because you must, by that time, you will have overspent or spent everything that you got in the tank. But, well, you know, in some instances, you make yourself a little bit scarce, just like you see Atiku Albanetti now, God knows where. And by the time he comes back to Roy again, you will see, you feel his presence. So, I mean, it shows a level of naivety from, from his side and, uh, and some level of desperation. And I think it's coming from the point of delusion. It's, to me, it's... It, it, it's um, is uh, it, it shouldn't be in the first place. You should have people to advise him. Unfortunately, those people that he have around are inexperienced politicians like the Kenneth Kokonko. Who is Kenneth Kokonko when he was in APC? It's just to be, it's just mainly job then is to be an announcer. He contested for any um, governorship election. <laughs> he lost out. So he was trying to pay his deal by remaining in APC and jump ship simply because his kinsman was contesting. And I hold on to the Muslim Muslim of a thing. I watched this interview with Sheryl Mokundaloyi. I think somebody need to wake him up and remind him that it was, it's no, it's no acting movie. It's, it's just a struggling uh, lawyer, whatever he wants to call himself these days. You know, some of these things are just, to me, is that childish in nature. Um, uh, all of them lumped together. It's, it shows some level of seriousness. If you want to, in Yoruba, they say, I mean, Joshua, Shama, Atisha, Shama, Shama, Nati, Derewa. It shows they are just, uh, they are just, uh, I don't know, they are, they are new baby when it comes to politics. I'm sure Tinobu and the even articles will be sitting down and shocking when I see him, you know, going and be eating rice with the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that. That is very funny anyway. Yeah, my observation is that uh, I didn't I didn't listen to all his uh, strategic uh, uh, point because I just felt that I heard a Kine saying earlier that uh, was it a Kine or some I don't know somebody said it on the show that you know about the productions and what you have now and in the dollars getting to thirteen hundred is simply because people are dumping you know their their currency in the market and now that's so well at least it's working. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to take uh, a little piece of of uh, obstacles for you to be able to get, just like a surgeon. A surgeon doesn't just cut you open once and for all. They pierce little by little before they get to the to the to the to the issue. And that is where sometimes you know the, the approach, the suitable approach that sometimes I need to uh, apply. So, and if that is the case, but it's just that I still don't understand why people do. It. It's a simple economic. Uh, uh, practice. You cannot be living a lifestyle, you know, a fake lifestyle, when everything is being subsidized in all the time. So now that the Naira is being floated, you now see the true, in fact, we have not even seen the true worth, worth of, of Naira in the market. 
and we have all this you know economic indices playing out and the government says look we can't continue to do all this let this play out in a way because this is you know want it to be open market and all that and at the end of the day you now see that but Nigerians want everything to be subsidized. Oh, it was 600 then. But as at the time that it was officially 600, guess what? The value there was it was supposed to be at in the thousands, realm of thousands. So why people don't get it? Okay. And we can't continue to live a fake life. The time will come that you have to be truthful with yourself. And that is what this administration is trying to do. Okay. We are poor because, you know, the way we've managed money in the, in the past and what it's CBN did, all right, and the commercial banks were not even helping as well. Thank God that the five is it five hundred billion now that they have to take all those uh, mega mega bank. Oh, I'm sure by now they will be, you know, all those bank executives will be, uh, they will be sitting tight in their chair, right? I don't know the timeline they give them for them to be able to uh, comply with that directive. Anybody know the timeline? Um, no. No. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, I'm sure the, 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 the you know, the, the, you know another, the banks, another for the banks. Yeah. Two years. Two years. Uh, that is even long time more because Sano season wasn't even up to a year at the time it was announced. They thought they would be able to use political influence to, you know, railroad and to change things there, but. Thank God that he had, you know, uh, political power behind Abbas and just stood, you know, suddenly behind him, that directive, and he was able to carry it out, you know. Uh, and this idea it will be very difficult now. You know, that time, people still believe in all this. All of them, that time, they did the, this IPO. <laughs> like, and all of us, you remember, I remember that time we invested a lot of money buying bank shares and all those things. But what becomes of all those shares these days? Maybe even my own, I've forgotten all of them. I don't even know how much is that. Which of the bank did you buy? I bought I, I bought First Bank. I bought I bought uh, um uh, what's the name of this bank? See, um, this this Hebrew bank that time. Access. Um, no, no, and it's that access. I bought Zenith, I bought uh, I bought Standard Trust. Yeah, but the new owner absorbed the the lab. The absorbed yeah, the if thing. I immediately Standard Trust was absorbed by UBA, everything just crashed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Hey, you In, remember the the people that that did their uh, uh, initial placement? Then was the new generation banks, uh, GTB and uh, Zenit. Before they now went back to do the IPO. But the thing is that. Um, and I'm just uh, you know, you know, the reason why I raised that one is that a, a Nigerians that time believe in shares and everybody was interested. But you now you, you know you know I've still got those shares myself. I, that first bank, I, I you know, I there's still um there's a there's a link that I'm going to send to you guys um if, when I can find it. You just have to type in your name. It will tell you all the shares you have in Nigeria. I can't find my name there. You, you know what I? Oh, did I send it to you? I've checked. I can't find my name. First bank, all those things I bought. You know oh, what? Oh, I oh, all right. Well, I found my name. So, and I found yeah. my mother's name as well. Like, when I uh, send it to me, oh. I, I'll send it to you. It, yeah. Yes. Oh, my, send Mama, it to me, but I, Mama, I'm interested I've, also. You can send it uh, to me. I've, okay. I've, I've, I've harmonized my own. When I went to Nigeria 2000 and, uh, I think 2018, I believe. Uh, that was when I did the. Uh, I am um, nice everything, everything. You know, all of them they were saying that, that this e is e something that they were doing e, that time. E, 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 e yeah. mandate. E yeah. mandate. Uh, uh, those registrars are crook, you know. Yeah, yeah some of them rejected so uh my mandate. They said the picture and the ID were not uh, ID side presenter were not clear. We are asked others accepted. So how how some people deem my ID not clear is still beyond me, you know, and all those cooks. So the thing is, uh, the capitalization, like yeah, but the, it, the clearing house there is supposed to have done all those that before it becomes issue now. I know so in some registrar, some registrar are just to be us, you know. There was a wow. time I was trying to claim part of my pension in Nigeria. Uh, you know, this crusade, this crusader Sterling, they started giving some kind of kind of uh, uh, uh you know, they know you're outside the country, but they will be giving you some kind of tedious requirement. You know, I'm are you talking about Sterling? I could say that. 
Consider, oh, oh, okay. Hey, no, he's talking about pension. Well, Allah is oh, talking okay. about pension now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just comparing how some people can be dubious. Like some registrar, they rejected, they rejected my mandate, giving excuses. But the question is this: How were others able to see the same thing that some, so, 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 some, some? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to use the foul, the foul. This thing is stupid. They, they, they were so stupid not to understand because. I use my national ID card and I use my passport. How those one were not clear to you is beyond it, 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 it's beyond me. So I was now relating that to the same way I was trying to collect part of my pension in Nigeria. And this crusader, uh, they were giving some kind of ridiculous, uh, ridiculous requirements. You know, at the back of my mind, any day I step to Nigeria, I will move all every cover I have with them away. If they think they are so smart. Even those no, 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 you cannot move it, you can if it, 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 what uh, is, is not contributing pension that you're talking about, mm -hmm. you cannot, you cannot move your money, I can transfer to another provider, I can transfer to another provider, not to say, oh. not to say I should stay for with the forever, well, I don't know how, how easy that one can be, I don't know how to. Like me, now. like me now, I use IBTC pension. They, they, that's and one of the think, best in the country. And they have been doing well, yes. In fact, they give that's me update the quarterly. They give me update quarterly. The, the, and the, and the, you know that they invest. Back in the day, they call the uh, MPF, is it National Provident Fund? I don't know. 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 Abaja is always making reference to our war in Kakande. He has no clue. He has no idea. On this Good Friday, I generally go and be the only person saying the truth from my perspective today. Every other you'll be dressing things. So, I go and drink and can go and drink pan wine. I wish I could tell him the truth. On Good Friday, no, we know they drink pan wine. Oh, that was so wrong. Jerry, I want to say Good Friday. Good Friday, okay. And when people are talking, you are not talking generally. You are talking on Friday when it's already 10 o'clock on Saturday here. I don't know. Wow, wow. So, wow, guys, wow. so does that mean that the morning uh, it was paid to Abure? It's over now. He has uh, Peter. We have to pay a new money to Aburis for because I don't get the the his uh, his uh, uh, excuse for uh, the reason why he chose not to attend the convention. Does it mean that the money he paid for Labour Party there, that money has gone? He's now going to be looking for another party because I don't see why he should be. He will be talking about Obinia movement. Which movement? Where is that movement? Is it a headless one? Or I mean, I don't get it. Is it the confused? bunch of people that's why he believe those one could form the movement or i don't get it why why he said he's interested in building nigeria than building parties they were the, you want uh, to uh, talk so, about so, so, oh oh brilliant i think we have thomas so so we, uh, we mean uh, um uh, sorry uh oh when oh, 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 are you still there oh, oh when Yes, I'm here. Uh, you know that link to check for shares you have in Nigeria? Uh, I yes. sent it to you, didn't I? Yes. If, if, if you can reach it, resend it to me so I can share it with people. Um, okay. I, I'm scrolling through. I can't find where I sent it. But uh, yeah, yeah, okay. carry on there, Diwali. Okay. Uh, when next you go to Nigeria, just uh, you guys just do it once and for all. Maybe just within two days, you'll be able to... Do the run around of complete. I've level. been lazy about my own. Fine, my brother has, yeah. you know, you know, there's a lot of uh, as Ola said, like my father's my, my father did his own before his demise. And but what we noticed was that is the stock broker. He the reg they were doing a lot of business on my father's uh, um, shares. And you know, at the time we had to go and check it, and we discovered that they have, they have started selling some of the shares. 
So yeah, if you have yeah. shares and you're not even monitoring, you don't know what those guys are doing with your shares. Oh. I see my dividends every year. I see, I know I, I monitored everything. He's, uh, I mean, anyway. I don't even, but I'm very sure that my own dividend will be among the list of claim dividends in Nigeria now. Then uh, the question I want to give people financial guru, uh, what did they do with this unclaimed dividend fund? Can government use it? Uh, I'm not sure. Look, 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 yeah. You know, there was a time Finance they wanted to claim it, you know. Was that not a time they wanted to claim yeah. it? No, one man, yeah. the, the right language, they wanted but, to well, steal it. was trying to claim it some time ago. They wanted to steal it. That's the right language. Oh, yes. Was trying they to should steal not it. even yeah. be trying that because you ask people to do, uh, uh, what do we call this, uh, BVN, they, they did all those. They have uh, the registration with Telco. You can you can't even use that to even find but not everybody have bvn I, N, I, N. you got what i said i said some people have the registration with telco or the telecommunication company some are bvn you, there's a way you can harmonize you were not making law to harmonize and find a way for the money to go to the beneficiary or uh, to the or to the original uh, owner uh, or to but, the but, uh, 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 not everybody have bvn but that is not really true if you have a phone number in Nigeria and a back account, you can't do without BVN, isn't it? No, the option now. Some people still don't have BVN, no. Why? And they are using mobile phone. How are they using mobile phone? Because your you BVN don't need is BVN. linked. You don't need BVN to, to get a mobile phone. Federal government is yet to, you know, is uh, NIM the need for phone? NIM, is it not? Yeah. Even, NIM, NIM, NIM. NIM. not everybody even NIM, 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 you don't need it. No, 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 no. They, uh, you, are you guys living in Nigeria? No, no, no. They blocked you know, they block the, my brother, block my own number. sister. They blocked their number. You, you can't use it anymore. Actually, Coco, I have family. Yeah. I have family in Nigeria. They it's blocked my sister's number. It's not, that is not right. They will block your number. I I'm telling you, the, what, uh, all the only thing you need, but Thomas, to get a phone number in Nigeria is your is your name, your NIN. Yes. You don't need BBN. Oh, you know what, yes. Simba? I read it in the newspaper last week that the uh, 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 what do you call them? Is it fake? For the, uh, no, what is it? Yes. no, no, the one that oversees the telecommunication. Uh, companies, um, uh, what do you call them? That they are yet to implement the sanction, but they said they will start uh, sanctioning. Uh -huh. they, they are yet to start sanctioning any of these uh, communication companies that fail to um, implement the uh, NIM, uh, is it NIM or BVN numbers of their subscriber. That every subscriber must have the the identification number and the, 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 they was reported in the newspaper so that means they have not started doing that even though companies let me tell you what is going on now your bvn has to link with any hand now if you don't do that they block your phone number they block my own blood system flow, flow number it. because of that yeah that is I what we know so you guys my... are not in nigeria we don't oh, know what oh, is going oh, on oh. Oh, 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 all right. Um, I was in uh, uh, Nigeria last year, December. So, I experienced the same thing. They block my line as you are landing. You can still use that line if you are abroad. They will know that it's not within the country. But as that same is entering a jam, they block it. You mm. now go and register. Once you get there, then they pull out your NI hand. The NI must be linked to your BV hand. Then you now yes. do your normal they will get your thumbprint and everything that's when you can use that scene if not that's when i have a bet a bet a bet me i've been going in and out nobody has asked me and my number is still functioning so, 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 sorry simba uh, sorry 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 sorry, 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 sorry let, 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 let me use the window uh thomas now here to to bail out uh thomas uh, uh um uh, Bishop has been waiting to speak. So when Diwali lands, uh, Bishop takes over. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, so so uh, let me let me acknowledge the the, the super chat as uh, uh, as you know we always mention Ayo and we mention him again. 
um, a, a new name joins there. Uh, 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 is it the uh, Dipolu? Dipolu? Uh, 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 yes, I, I hope that that's uh, and a collateral course. Uh, that's collateral right there. Uh, rattling off uh, in conversation with the space. A lot of rich uh, do, does regularly and he does again. Uh, there's uh, one Nigeria, uh, even though it's an obedient, obedient he's still on buckles his uh, purse. And there is a uh, Kulata uh, poking one thing or the other to the conversation. So thank you to all those. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be doing it. Before you go, send the talking point. I just, I'm just joining you now. I'm not no, no, listening. No, no. Yeah, the, the talking points we just, I, I, I think maybe they just free flow. But I'll send you the talking points. But uh, there wasn't really that much of a talking point. We were really talking about oh, bit of his appearance oh. online today. So, uh, uh but uh, uh so uh, uh -huh. before I go, um, the people Mama, watching before you, on that, before you go, yeah. did you saw the video of uh Kenneth Okonkwa? With the yeah. with the Chinese guy, oh, you need to listen to that video. Maybe we will brought it later and talk oh, about. Oh, it. All right, all right. Yeah. Maybe we'll, maybe we we'll look at that tomorrow. So, to to the people watching on uh, on um on on YouTube, it's going to reset. So you have to go on the platform to click back on again uh, as Thomas takes over. So it's going to reset. So uh, you you probably see it stop where you are, but uh, go to the platform. And just click on it to pick it back up again. So, uh, thank you, everyone. Uh